good morning. Welcome to Sewing Quarter on this lovely Thursday morning. Or not, well, actually, it's Thursday everywhere in the world, not just at Sewing Quarter. So happy Thursday. Um, my name's Amy Burrows. I'm here with you all morning today, and I'm joined by Jess. And we've got some fantastic projects coming up. We're doing a wall um, sort of storage um, hanging. And we've also got a fantastic laptop case that we're doing with Jess later on as well, which is great for my little laptop that's actually in my dressing room at the moment. So I've got my eye on that. So um, we've got the um, menu coming up, what's on today's show. So we, oh, we haven't got the menu, so I'll tell you what's I'll tell you what's coming up on today's show. At eight o'clock, we've got decorative delight. So we've got these brand new, two new fabric premieres that we've not had on the show before for this wall hanging from the Tilda book. Then we've got bundles of colour, so we've got some fantastic bundles for you, fabrics that we've put together that we've not had in those combinations on the show before. So I'm doing that at nine o'clock. Then at 10 o'clock, Jess is back for that laptop case and we've got some premier fabrics, again, some gorgeous um, monochrome pencil fabrics. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got back for some more miss it, miss out, some fabrics that are going to go, we're really limited on stock on, but we wanted to bring them back to you because they've been really popular, including my favourite. I don't, is it still on the wall? Yeah, the flamingos just behind me. You can't see it. Let me grab it. We've got some flamingos back on um, at 11 o'clock, so you won't want to miss that at 11. So as I said, in this hour this morning, we're doing this wall hanging. I don't know if you can see this here. So we've got these three little eyelets on the top, but perfect. You could hang it on the back of a door or you could hang it, you know, um, in a cupboard or wherever you wanted to. And the lovely thing, they've got some really lovely detail on here as well with the pockets that you can store different things in. So I'm going to show you how to make that in this hour. But first of all, I'll just show you the website so you know how to get in touch. So we love to hear from you. So if you head to the Sewing Quarter website and go to the watch page, just under that live feed of today's show. So you'll see that there, there I am with my flamingo bag. Just under that, you'll see the, um, there's a message to the studio box there on the right hand side. So you can, you can drop us a message if you've got any questions for Jess, you can type that in that box there. You can, if you want to see a particular fabric or you want to send us a comment, please do get in touch. You can do that via that box or you can email the studio, studio at sewingquarter.com. Now, underneath that message box as well is sort of a shopping list of everything that's going to be on today's show. So if you just scroll down all of the products that you'll see, if you want to add them to your basket, you can do it on the website there. Um, just click on them and check them out on your basket. So as I said, we've got two brand new fabrics that we wanted to show you this morning. We've never had these on the show before. And these are bundled for this um, wall hanging. So you're getting a metre of fabric and a complementary thread as well that teams in really perfectly with that. So um, obviously um, it's enough fabric for the, uh, for the wall hanging, but if you wanted to to use it for something else then you've got the option to do that too so i'll start with this brand new one that you can see here i just showed you in that hanging gorgeous fabric we got are we going to autumn already i don't know i don't really want to admit that summer's over but we've got some lovely trees on this fabric here in this gorgeous lime green on a sort of a really soft gray background there it's got quite a silky feel to it this fabric actually so this trees bundle, as you can see, you've got that detail on the white trees and then you've got those greens and it's paired with a grey thread from Gooseman. So for the metre of thread, uh, the metre of fabric, sorry, and the thread is 11.45. And you can see it here in this hanging that Jess has made for us today. So this is what we're going to be making with those sort of scalloped pockets there. So that's enough fabric to make that if you wanted to. And Jess is going to talk you exactly through how we did that, the process for it, how to create that gorgeous curve as well. So the other premier fabric that we've got, and these work really well together, they're from the same collection. So you've got that lovely sort of um, lime green coming through again. This one here is another, if I just show you, I'll open this one up so you can see a little bit more, but some gorgeous detail here on the, um, on that sort of, on the, on the white, it's like a blossom on those, um, this is cow parsley, this fabric, and teamed with that bright lime green fabric, uh, thread. I keep me me messing around with my fabrics and thread words this morning. I'm in a muddle. Dig, D-I-G-C 88 for the cow parsley bundle. So you've got a metre of this um, gorgeous green fabric and then your thread too. And both of those are 11.45, so they're the same price for those brand new premier fabrics. It just depends which one, which colour you like or which fabric you like the look of. So also two really popular fabrics that you also really love whenever we have these on the show. We bought these as an option this morning for the wall hanging as well. So if you've got your eye on the hanging for, um, for your sewing room or, you know, for, for a workroom or for a craft room and you want to hang these on the back of the door or in a cupboard, and then we've bought a fabric this morning that's got uh, those sewing notions on it. So this is the thread fabric. It's got all those gorgeous spools. Again, a really popular one on the show. You can see those with those different playful, different 
uh, colours there in your greens and your pinks and yellows and blues. But that lovely sort of haberdashery detail and teamed with a with a mushroomy colour thread there as well. So threads on gold, that one's 13.45. Perfect for all you sewists this morning if you wanted to make something to, you know, to keep all your bits and pieces in one place, whether that's patterns. So we've popped patterns in our um, in our wall hanging this morning. But even if you wanted to use it perhaps in the kitchen or a utility room, we always need some extra storage. So if you do want kitchen, and this is a lovely sort of farmhouse feel with this chickens fabric here. So again, a really popular one with that golden background. And you've got the white and the red detail there picked out in the chickens. So the yellow chicks bundle, again with a golden yellow thread, and that's 13.45 too. So four different fabric bundles for you this morning, a metre of all of those fabrics and then the thread as well. And we're taking the pattern from the Tilda book. Now, we've not had this on for a couple of months. This book is so lovely from Tilda. We've done some of the previous projects. I've got some hidden in my trolley. I'll show you in a minute. Um, but some really lovely projects um, going through different rooms in the house, 35 different projects for all different, uh, you know, different areas, whether that's a bedroom or, um, you know, sort of a children's room or you've got an entrance hall but lots of different projects in there and bags and we love Tilda all those different home style things here it is the wool leaf pouch so that's what we're making this morning I'll take that over with me and we're gonna let's get cracking with Jess so we can get started with our wall hanging hello morning hello, Jess morning. how are you I'm fine how are you I'm good this is our first show together I we've know, not done one together before so so tell me a bit about how did you get into sewing how I get into sewing, um, I've been sewing since I was a child, my mum taught me, um, and doing bits and bobs myself, and then about three years ago, I was working at a publishing company um, uh, as, a, as a PA, and then um, I was doing sewing stuff on the side, and then a friend of mine suggested me to, um, now immediate, um, when they were launching their Simply Sewing magazine, so I went along with the bits and bobs I made, and then they gave me a whole load of projects straight away, and I've been sewing with them ever since, and I do their denim series, I do occasional subscriber gifts, and I'm currently doing the main story piece for the so night. quite involved with, sim I you, am you doing involved a with lot Simply Sewing. sewing. Yes. You're attached to that sewing machine, I and am. you love Tilda as well. I do. I've, I've been buying Tilda fabric for years. I've made loads of bits, Christmas stockings. I mean, it's got some lovely sort of winter feel as well as the lovely whimsical sort of spring Whimsical sort of fabric, Really whimsical. They? And they bring out loads of different ranges. Sometimes it's quite sort of soft and gentle sometimes a little bit more in your face slightly a little brighter but I just love the fact it's so pretty it is just a really pretty pretty brand and what did you like about the book so obviously we've picked a project from here today yes. let's find that one here what I love about this book is it's I mean this is lovely what I love about this book is not only the, there are loads of different types of projects but there are masses of templates at the back for the different projects and you can adapt, that's the one for the, um, the, the wall hanging, and you can adapt them to lo loads of different styles um, and oh, toys, everything. There's just, there's just so many different bits and bobs that you can actually make within here. And the photography oh, is gorgeous. so delicious. Yeah. Isn't I mean, it just like it really you see how to go like that? I just yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you were saying earlier, there's that, like little sort of um, strawberries. Yes, I've marked it in my the other book. The strawberry cushion. Oh, no, Look, it's, it's just gorgeous. A, they're adorable, really the re gorgeous. I mean, it's just patterns. fab, isn't it? And it's so, it just, it's just Have a really. A and of course, she uses her her fabric within the, whole, the entire book. So you see the entire range who, which went with this this particular book. Yeah, the cushion. But it's just they're just delightful. These little things, little embroidered some seeds on there. It's just the detail eye candy. as well. You've got yeah. yeah. For a crafter, it's eye candy. It's like, you know, some, some people look at other things, but we look at magazines and books. So that, that it's got so many different projects that you can adapt in there using lots of different materials. So that's why I love it. And these little sketches, they're just gorgeous. You can photocopy that and, and cut and, it and out. Yeah, it's a card or you know, something. Yeah. Lots of lovely little toys, but also things for all around the house. This is the wall pouch that we're doing today. There's a little one there as well. I mean, yeah, I marked that. In. I've got the other book, but... You, you know, you've got loads of different things, but also they tie in really beautifully. So that wool pouch that we're doing today, then we notice that there's also, you know, another project here that introduces that scalloped edge. You can just see there with that um, sort of a smaller wool pouch if you wanted to have that through as a running theme. Mm. But loads of different things for all yeah. around the house. And, you know, and they also look so different in different fabrics, they these do. projects. So this in the, um, in the tree fabric that we've got this morning, yeah. you know, it has a very different feel to it in that grey and green. It looks, exactly. it's a bit more smart and sophisticated, yeah, isn't it, than so playful. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I was thinking about it when you were showing the, 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 the um, thread spool fabric. That would be lovely if you had these for, in your workroom, if you had them sort of hang up in different sort yeah. of either small or long and just put all your scissors and those kit in there. It's just lovely. Really, all different really notions and yeah. haberdashery and just yeah. keep it all, all in one place. Um, so 
the, the one that, that is the uh, spool fabric, that threads on gold. So that is in a bundle this morning. It's a metre of fabric. And then you've got your thread for that as well. So you can just see that one there on your screens. Perfect for your work from, as Jess mm. has just said, UUGC90. And that's 1345. But which bundle are you making with today? So obviously you've already made the, uh, the yes. grey one. Oh, I'm using, but I can see it. Cow it's parsley. One, one of my favourite um, plants. I love cow parsley. I have vases of cow parsley. Do you? Never laugh. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. But you wish it to. You I will it, it to. Would. But yeah. it doesn't. Absolutely. <laughs> so... Where shall I start? Shall I just go? Oh, yeah, how do, okay, yeah. Cool. how do we get started? First of all, cutting out, it tells you in the book it works Sorry, in centimetres. Okay, oh, okay. Yep, it works in centimetres. Um, so it asks you, this is, what, this is a really quite a simple project. It asks you to cut two um, lengths, a split, which I think are 74 times 26.5, and you add seam allowances on. So I did a centimetre round, so 76 by 28 and a half. Yep, um, you cut two of those. <laughs> Um, and then you cut four of the smaller size pieces, which uh, I can't read upside down. Here they are, 21 by 26 and a yeah, half. Yeah, so as you mentioned, this is a 23 by 28 and a half. So okay. uh, you then, it also mentions in here, um, high volume vizaline. I can never pronounce it. <laughs> There's always that. such debate. Yeah. Like, is it vizaline? Is it vizaline? Vis 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 it's such a weird, I just named it to pronounce. They changed the name, didn't they? It used to be vilene. Yeah, think, but, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so with this one, um, I know that we have iron on, which makes it, um, which means you can yes, just iron it onto the back. So it's that fusible fleece, which is yes. so easy to use. You just, oh, yeah. you just you use it with bags. It's, it's, just, it's just a joy. I've actually used with the one which is made up there and also what we're hearing, I'm using one which I've just sewn in, which is, works just as well as you can yeah. see. It's absolutely fine. Um, but this, this is just brilliant. I've, as I said, I've used it for nice padded for bags. It makes it sort of really nice. Squidgy and, and soft. Squidgy, yeah, it's lovely. So a metre of that one there is RPGQ40, and that's 9.95. I guess the great thing as well about it being fusible is that bit quicker than having it to is, sew it yeah, into place. It is, yeah, it's, it's, it is much quicker, and because you get a metre it, you don't, as you can see, you don't you, you use, use that, the no. long bit and then two of the other bits. You're gonna get loads left over to make. If you make little pouches, you make little pockets, you know, whatever you actually want. We, just, we can also make little storage pockets, I suppose, as well, for your, for your work room. Structure. We well, you said this scallops, morning, yeah. with this scallops detail on the pocket, well, we'll get to that, but just yeah. like, you can make a crown out of that. Oh, you could, <laughs> yeah, with this as well, it'd be really nice for sort of kids' parties or something like that. It's really, it's really nice little detail, and you've got the template, so you don't have to do you your own design. There. there it is, our lovely little curvy edge this morning. Oh, you put pom-poms on it or buttons, oh, it's just lovely. Jazz it up a bit. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Producer Hannah's like, pom-poms, yeah, love pom-poms. Yeah, we love a pom-pom. <laughs> So that's that. So we've actually used sew in. So yes. what I've actually done, first of all, pop and cut them out. I, th I then um, sewn in with a five centimetre seam allowance all the way around um, the, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, if I can find the piece here. One of the actual long pieces, which would be your front piece. Okay. You can just see, I've also marked where things go, but you can just see it's just got a little five millimetre seam allowance so you can use both fusible which is which is really really good or you could if you've got your own um wadding or you want to buy some of the other type which is like soft you could prefer sew in yeah so, like, so as you can see it's just got a little five which is going to be hidden when you sew it all together with your one so we won't minutes. see that anyway so i've done that for um the front piece for uh the main body and then um two the two pockets which are like this i've also marked the way up i wanted to look <laughs> you can see a little line like that and then... Yeah, do you think this is directional? Because it's, it's hard know. to know, isn't it? I was it? looking because at it's... it. It probably isn't, but I just thought that this sort of lines up with that. Yeah, try and keep it. Yeah. And also, the wonderful thing about this, if you, if you don't want to use it for the back or the lining, you could actually... You've got a metre of it, so you can just use anything else for the back. Yeah, so you could even have yeah. it plain with a, you know, exactly detail in pocket. Yeah, because or... it's just going to be on the back. You won't actually see it, or in the lining, you won't actually see it. You can use a contrast if you want, whatever mm. you actually want to do. Mix and match. Mix and match. So, I've done that for all three pieces. Um, and then obviously put that to one side and then we do the actual scallop pockets first. Yes, I'm intrigued how we do that. I've not seen this before, so. So if you look in the back of the book, it's got the template, which you then trace, That's it. or photocopy and that. then trace it, which like that. So it looks like that. Excuse the rather scrappy bit of paper. <laughs> I've also noted um, on here, I've put 2.5 down, which is where I've actually marked it down from the edge so you don't go into this particular thing. Okay. So wh what you can do is you then, may I have the iron on please? Of course, I think it's already on, it should be. Yeah, it is already on. Brilliant. So you've traced the template from the book. Traced the template from the book, copy it onto here, and then 
you actually draw it onto the lining of your pocket because this, if you draw on, I'll just show you quickly, if you draw on that, it's not necessarily as... It's quite bit, hard to yeah, draw on wood, exactly. isn't it? Like yeah, accurately. It, exactly, it'll just go a bit sort of fuzzier, so I prefer to do it on the lining, and it makes absolutely no difference on the thing at all when you actually finish it. So I'll just give this a very quick Thank press, you. making sure I'm not pressing <laughs> on the mat. Let's just move it to one side a little bit. That's it. Jay coming in to make sure we don't actually press on the actual... There we go. What I would say is I've marked on here the actual direction of the print. If you have, check with your erasable pen first, whether if you iron it, it <laughs> it's together. Yes, yeah, it's, it's setting it. Yeah, I found these don't, but just double check with your fabric because, you know. <laughs> you don't really want an arrow right in, the, check, middle yeah, your, in mean, the middle of your wall. I, I've never had a problem with it, but I would always say, check on the fabric you've actually got, just to make sure that you're happy with it. Okay, you know, top tip from Jess top this morning. Tip. So, check your pen. Exactly, so <laughs> first of all, we turn it over to reverse, making sure we've got the right way up. And we draw around our template. So we can do our scallop edge. Scallop edge? Scallop edge? Yeah, scallop, I would scallop. say scallop, but I don't know. No, I, I don't know it's either. one of those potato, potato. Potato, potato, <laughs> exactly. So this is 28 and a half. So you find your middle point. What's half of 28? 14. So what's half of a half? Half of a half, seven. Half of what? Half of 0.5 would be 2.5. So 14.25. <laughs> so try and find 14.25. We're so doing, doing maths this morning. We are. We're maths. doing maths. Oh, it's A-level results day today, isn't it? I know. I've got some friends. I've got kids. I've got A-levels. I, I remember that. that. I remember oh, that day going in. You pick up your envelope and oh gosh. Yeah. I oh I hated it. I hated it. <laughs> Horrible. Have so. you got into uni? Have you got where you want to oh, go? Oh, are you are you going to get what you actually need in life? Who knows? Five, ten. 14.25, about there. And okay. at the time, it's like the most important thing that's ever happened. You know, it's, yeah, your life you really, will end. Yeah, you really you do feel in. that. So, anyone out there, I'm with you. Yeah, we're there with you this it. morning, A level results. So, if you're so, waiting. So, you line up this line 2.5 um, centimeters down, find the middle bit there, which is, matches with that notch. 2.5 down, so one, two and a half there. Make sure it's the same and put it across there. Just so you can see. Hang on. Bit difficult with this mat because it's got hasn't got the two there. So let's have a look. So 2.5 and 2.5. There. So and you don't keep around. that scallop going all the way to the edge. Obviously, no, that's your no. Because you sew in. Also, when you see the actual pocket, the actual um, hanging, oh, which is over there, <laughs> when, if you had the scallop right to the edge, it'd be really quite tight to actually get things in. So you need a little oh, bit it gives of give. You a little bit of yeah, a little bit of give. There we go. I think we'll show you in a sec. So let me just draw around here. And go. So you just do it like this and just draw it round with your erasable pen. You could use a pencil, I suppose, but um, yeah. you're not really going to see it. But I think an erasable pen is much easier. I'm just doing this live on telly, so I'm being a bit squishy. If you're doing a few of these um, projects with that edge, obviously I just showed you in the book, there's... Um, there are quite a few projects that use this scalloped edge. Mm. You could use that plastic templating, couldn't you, yeah. to create, once you've got that, you know, you could use that for lots of different yeah, exactly. projects. Yeah, exactly. I mean, a lot of things you sort of keep to one side, but that's going to get scrappy and yeah. over time. It'll get a bit sort of stiff. Or a cereal box. Or a cereal <laughs> box. My dad always used to keep cereal boxes for things, not necessarily things craft, right, no. but, you know, he used to use it for little notes. So you'd have little notes that would, on cereal, but save money. Random. <laughs> right, OK. So then you pin this right sides together to what will be, this is your lining, what will be your front, okay? Yes. So that's all nice and smooth, and pin it, and then using very small stitches, just pin it in place, you, so from this end, should that join, and all the way around from there to there. Okay. So I'll do so that. So you've got to follow that edge all you've the way. You've got to follow that edge all the way around, because then this, this will be hidden in the seam allowance. So does this take this from being a beginner project to something slightly more advanced? No. Because it's quite... A, you know, quite a sharp yeah, curve. It is sharp curve. Use very small stitches. So test on your machine. So I mean, when we were looking earlier, I put it down to really, really small. It looked like so <laughs> bad. Tail of Gloucester's mice. It was so <laughs> small. Um, and I'd never seen anything that small. It wasn't hand sewn. So um, I would just say it's, it's a nice, I think it's a nice introduction if you haven't done sort of curves to actually give it a go. Because it's, it's when you actually do it, it's such a triumphant feeling to actually turn, you think, oh, it's oh, going to be really tight. I, yeah. and clip in, it's just, it's just a really nice thing to do. But yeah, you can't use long stitches with this. You know, small stitches, the stronger the actual fabric will be, especially when you're pushing it out. Yeah. So I'll just pin this. But also just there. following those curves with yeah, a big stitch would be, really, would be quite tricky. Yeah, so I will just sew those in. I also find it might be easier just to make sure the fabric doesn't shift. When Jess was having a little test on the machine this morning, she just mentioned about finding a small stitch. You literally needed a magnifying glass to yeah, see that they're tiny. Yeah, it was tiny. so small. So it was a bit too small. Like, <laughs> so, somewhere in the middle. Yeah, so I will, so just, 
put that in. No, I want a bit too far in. Oh. Yeah, one the right one. Hang on. So the um, the cow parsley. This is a brand new fabric that we've never had on the show before. So this is a premiere this morning. And um, this cow parsley is the green, the fabric on your screen at the moment. D I D C eighty eight. And you get a meter of fabric, and you also get the thread as well to create the whole wall hanging. So it's enough for that. So you get to uh, corner, spin, and go slow, and just twist Thank it you, as you go. And if it feels like it's moving out of line. Lift up the foot and turn it around. It's, it's not necessarily fiddly, it just you just take your time with it and you'll get yeah, it. Yeah, don't have to rush. No, exactly. Even if you're live on telly. <laughs> <laughs> just deep on a breaths time and do it nice clock. and slow. There we That's go. That's okay, we're with you. When you get to um, one of the corners, I tend to, when it comes to a project, I tend to sort of, if I get to a corner, so take it off and put a little gap, you know, sort of sew a little stitch that goes to point and then a little, but not with this, don't. Okay. As long as your stitches are small and you clip it, you'll be fine. So you can go right into a V and then straight yeah. back up again. You don't have to create any depth at the bottom. No. Okay. Nicely put that depth <laughs> at the bottom. There we go. I like little, you know how you draw, well, so if you're like, I'm really not very good at drawing. If I had to draw a bird, this is how I would draw a bird, you know, like with a V in the bottom. Yeah. So you, don't, you know what I mean? Just like a V in the sky. Yeah, absolutely. It looks just like that. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Oh, that's a standard one, isn't it? A little yeah. V in the sky. So many, I'm thinking, <laughs> bearing in mind we're sort of August, September, and every sort of home magazine has got coastal blue and white. Yes. You see so many sort of, of birds in the sky. Seagulls. Yeah, seagulls everywhere. So there was also that fabric this morning, if you're looking at the, uh, the grey and white uh, wall hanging that's already made up, so that picture that we just showed you, and that's the fabric on the bottom of your screen, so that's the trees bundle, NJGC55, that's 1145 as well, so two different options for that, but the, um, you can just see that one here, this is, there it is, you can see that if you like the trees in that lovely sort of slate grey with your it is lime most, green. It is lovely it is a colour lovely combination. Grey. I was thinking that would be, I think, yes. Was it yesterday or the day before when Jennifer was on and she made Tash a really pretty top out of a lovely sort of fabric? And I was just thinking... Oh, was this, it the birthday? Yeah. Tash's birthday show, yes. Um, and um, I was just thinking when I was working with, with this grey fabric, I was thinking, oh, this would be lovely as clothing, like a yeah. top or something. It's it just has really got a silky simple. feel to it as well. It has. It's just, it's just, the fabric itself is really, really nice. So it's nice to work with. Yeah, then. it's really nice to work with. You can, you can feel, you can feel the quality, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> no, it's, it's lovely. But also they work, because they have both got that green and obviously that natural feel to them with the, with the trees and the cow parsley, mm. you could ma mix and match those two yeah. if you wanted to have two hangings. Oh, be, or if you wanted to do patchwork have, with it. Yeah, or you could have pockets, alternating pockets. Yeah. You know. Oh, yeah, because that's the thing. I mean, that's, that's the one thing with, with, um, with books like that and also shows like this. It's a, it's a I think, um, Wednesday out in the, in the office said, um, you know, a lot of these things is a serving suggestion of what you can do with yes. it. Yes. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like that. I love that. I'm, I'm mm. going to, Wendy, I'm going to use that. Steal your phrase, Wendy. I'm going to steal that phrase. Oh, we love Wendy. Here we go. Last so we're just going up. around that edge with that really small stitch. Yeah. If you don't do it small, you, it's like anything. It's like press between, follow the instructions, apart from when you're cooking, you know, make just your own Just keep it, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just, just keep it, just follow the instructions and um, you'll go. What I actually used was I... Was this. This is the, um, if you did Hampton, we're using the Tilda book this morning. Um, so this is the wall pouch. You can see all of your instructions in here, sort of a step-by-step -step guide. I'm um, talking you through exactly what you need and how to do all of the steps. So, um, you know, if you miss the, the, the beginning section or if there's part that we didn't get to, all of the instructions are in the book. And this is as well what it looks like, you know, in a, in a different fabric, or if you want to mix and match those fabrics, all of that detail there in the book. There it is, you can just see. But there are loads of lovely projects in here. So you can see that little sleeping mask and using you know, gift well. ideas. Yeah, so the hot water bottle covers. And these would be lovely for, um, for lovely little presents and gifts for people. Oh, these are lovely. Just the little embroideries as well. Just all the cute, detail. Really it's cute. really lovely detail. So it divides it into oh. rooms. So this is the bathroom. But you have got all different sort of rooms around the house and different things that you could use those for. So... You can, we've got these little caddies actually in our office that we've made, little fabric boxes. Yeah, they've been lovely. Yeah, for storage. And we yeah. suffer cotton wool or anything like that, you know, if you've got yeah. little bits and pieces to keep in one place. But some lovely different projects and inspiration. So this one there, the hobby room, but 
just dividing it through obviously those toys that Tilda are oh, quite did, renowned did for. Tash make that as well? Did this one. No, this this, this, this horse. horse. Oh, yes, she, she did. did. Yeah. We we oh, were a fan of these. Oh, actually, I'll show you one of the bags we made from this book. This was on a previous show. This is taken from this book. So with that, it talks you through so how nice. to make this um, detachable rose. I love that. I, w I was wondering how you do that. I thought I might have to um, have a little have look. Have a little look. Yeah, because it's gorgeous. And that's, you know, as a brooch. Just lots of ideas and inspiration yeah. for different projects. So, yeah, so the Tilda book, PYGQ74, 12.95. And there's 35 different projects in there. So loads of different ideas, um, you know, for all different seasons and different rooms around the house. And um, here it is. There it is. Our So Pretty Home Style book. And the wall hanging as well is in here this morning. So if you're getting one of those bundles and want to create the storage pouch, all of your instructions are in there. So we've just followed so just, that round the just, edge. As you can see, I've just folded it round like this. So that's reversed. So you can see the reason I've, I've moved this down because it is sewn in. If it was fusible, you wouldn't have to have it as far down as, start off as far down oh, as yeah, like okay. So we just avoid that line. So we then cut close. It tells you about two, three millimetres from the edge all the way around. So I'll just do that very quickly with these massive scissors. Did you backstitch when you got to the end? Yes, backstitch. Yeah. yeah, I just did it it's so, so small, just a little bit, just to hold it. It will be hidden, but because you're actually turning it around and pushing the fabric, if you don't backstitch, the stitch it will needs come a bit undone. Of yeah, it needs a bit of strength. In fact, I'll use these ones just for this. Use that one for later. So we just trim and cut off. And you do this for just the two pockets. Because there's only two pockets, it doesn't take as long. You're thinking, oh, it's going to lose this, but there's only two. It does make you think you could actually adapt the pattern to actually make it longer. If you, yeah, if you yeah. wanted to go for... Yeah, absolutely. And also, you could divide the pockets if you wanted to, couldn't you? So you yeah. could make little sections. Yeah, because or... you, you could... Um, I'll just trip that off there. You could always, when you're actually sewing it up, as opposed to having one big, as you say, you could stitch up the, up the middle line. Yeah, and divide it. Make it divide. So I'm almost touch it. Or you could actually follow the lines and have two if you're having like pens or makeup brushes. Yes. That sort of stuff. Oh, yeah, I like that yeah. idea. That would work really well, wouldn't it? Or even if you wanted to, um, in the book as well, it talks about we're using eyelets this morning, so we're going to put ribbon through that to hang it up. But also, it, use, it talks about you could use poppers and put it on a hanger. Let me show you, actually. If I've got, um, so if you wanted to. Da, da, da. There it is. You can just see. And if you wanted to, you know, pop it, put poppers on it and hang it on a hanger, you could put it in your wardrobe. And like you just said, if you wanted to then use it for accessories or yeah. for jewellery or um, even little belts or anything like that. So you can just see that there. You can hang it, you know, inside of a wardrobe or a cupboard. So different hanging options for the top fastening. I love the, the fact it's got a scallop edge. I know you, you see a lot of sort of wall hangings and things which don't have that level of sort of quirky detail. It's just but a bit of extra, something a bit is. extra. And I, I, love, I love the fact with the book, they actually is that level of quirky detail. It's, it's just something a bit... Yeah, bit, absolutely. Bit, yeah, as you say, something a bit extra to make it sort of stand out. I think this would be lovely in a... If, you, if you're lucky enough to have a guest bedroom, <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to one full of children or... I know, I really do admire office. anyone with just a nice, like, a bed and it oh. all looks really pristine. And yeah, I've got the occasional pristine. friend who's got a guest room, which is just for guests. You're yeah, thinking, you think, wow. It's, it's, like, it's like having a gift wrapping room or something <laughs> for me. I remember... Um, Too many things yeah. to store. I remember reading years ago about... Um, one of the sort of producers in LA who had a spe who had a ma mansion which had a gift wrapping room. For a all. gift wrapping a room. A gift wrapping room. I think it was the guy who did Dynasty. Dynasty. Oh, really? Dynasty. Yeah. yeah Dynasty, I, I remember saying. thinking, now oh, there's a guy with money. <laughs> Aaron Spelling. Anyway, so what I've done is you can see I've actually gone a bit tighter into the points because the point they need to be able to pull the fabric. Yeah. Then just snip or clip just a little bit in there. Don't about a couple millimeters away from the stitches making sure you don't cut into them because there's nothing worse than clipping something when you've made it all together. That's all right. And then um, it rips. Okay. So we're just giving that some space so we yeah. can turn it through. Just so you can turn it. As you can see, the stitches are so tiny, it will really hold. Remember, what was one of the tricks my mum always said when we were learning to sew is tiny stitches will give it strength. If you have big, looser stitches, it will just fall apart, depending on what you're actually making, of course. Right, okay, so that's that. And then... You don't sew around these bits, because now you might, people think, why don't you do that? And they turn it inside out. You don't. I'll show you how to do that in a second. You then use a chopstick or a knee, knitting needle or something which okay. has got a point but not, you know, a really sharp edge. I've got one, my unused chopstick. <laughs> John said in the past about <laughs> chicken chow mein. Have you used it? <laughs> yeah. No. And then you turn it this side out and you ease it with your fingers, first of all. Do it on camera. 
They look like little fingers, don't they? Yeah, that little, little monster fingers, little gloves, <laughs> like this. And then you sort of gently ease where the, the corners are, like this. Just ease it, and it just gives. And those smaller stitches, strength. like you said, have given that some yeah, a little, little bit, strength. a little strength, exactly. If you didn't, then at this, this point, it would probably rip. And then using your um, chopstick or well, implement of choice, <laughs> I think John has a Derek the Dobber, doesn't he? <laughs> then uh, you just push out the little points like this. Well, not points, are they? Just those little curves little on the top. I think that one might have actually just gone a little bit there, but it'd be fine. And then where are we? Well, you just finished doing the rest of those. Don't do any more, but okay, I'm just going to look at those other bundles. That's you fine. Just, do you just take two, 10 seconds, just cool, pause, break, and I'll just show you those other bundles. No I'll worries. back in a second. Okay. So um, we had some different fabric options this morning. So that cow parsley one that Jessie's working with is this gorgeous lime green fabric. So I'll open this one up so you can see. This is a premiere today, so we've never had this one on the show before. Oh, we're nearly single figures on this bundle already. So that gorgeous, you're getting a metre of this fabric. So you'll get this, you, you know, this is a metre here. Um, you know, with that lovely cow parsley detail. This is a Macau fabric. So you know you're getting that quality that you would, that you would expect. So you get a metre of fabric. And that one's been teamed with a bright green thread. So these are just some suggestions for that wall hanging this morning. Let's have a look. There it is. You can just see that that's what you're getting in that bundle. DIGC 88 and it's 11.45. So that's the first time on air for that one. That's a brand new one this morning. I expect that will be really popular. But also this, this is my favourite fabric of the four options in the, these bundles. This is a, also a premiere, a brand new one. But this is on a really lovely sort of soft grey background with... It's got that lime green detail. And these mix and match really well, both of these, both from Makawa and from that same range where you can, you can see from the green in both of them that they're picked out from the same collection. But this one here, as Jess said, would be lovely for a top as well. You know, with your patchwork, if you wanted to, to pick out some detail with the trees. NJGC 55, so you've got a metre of that fabric there. And that one's teamed with a nice sort of pearly grey thread, so it's got a bit of a sheen to it too. So the other two options we thought might be nice this morning for that wall hanging. As Jess was saying, this is perfect for a sewing room or a craft room. This one here has got spools on it. So this is the um, thread on gold. You can just see there that detail on the spools. Quite realistic, but they've got a playful feel to them as well. With that, um, they've got sort of sky blues and um, magenta pinks and some yellows and peachy colours in your threads there. And also you've got your patch little patches as well. And if you've got a little bit of fabric left over, you know, you might be able to make one of those matching little storage pouches or a pin cushion to, um, to make it all nice and matching. UUGC90, that's 13.45. And again, you get a thread with that as well. That one's always a really popular fabric. So we know it's going to be, we're sewing quarter, you're sewists, so of course you're going to like a fabric that's sewing related. Then we've also got one, this is perfect for the kitchen or the utility room. For me, these chicken fabrics always have quite a farmhouse feel. I think the colours as well probably are why I think that. But this is a nice golden yellow. Um, you've got that detail in the red of, on the head of the chicken there um, and also teamed with a golden yellow thread. But you can just see, it's almost like a, a linear texture background there. You can see that cross hatching. MGGC 55, that's for the chickens on yellow, or chicks on yellow. I think they're chickens, but we're calling it chicks. Um, a metre of fabric there again with your thread. So four different options. You've got threads, chickens, cow parsley and trees, just depending which one you like the look of. So we're doing, at the moment, we're working with the cow parsley one. You can just see uh, the organiser that we're making. It's just this one here you can see on the corner of your screens there. Um, Jess has made it in the trees fabric and now we're working in the cow parsley. There it is hanging up. And we've used eyelets um, for the top of ours to create that hanging. But again, if you wanted to use poppers and a hanger, you've got the option to do that. You could pop it in your wardrobe or in a cupboard. And all of the details are in the book, the So Pretty book from Tilda. You've got all of your instructions in there. Step-by-step -step guide of how we're doing it. And Jess is doing it for us now too. So, so what I've done is I've um, pressed it. Yes. And then I've just pinned the sides. And then I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch down from here, away, from there, all the way around. And that will just close it, as it were. So okay. I'll just do that very quickly. I've done a set my zigzag to... 
about five, what, five width, whatever, and three length. Okay. So I'll just start so it there. So do you just zigzag over that? Um, yeah. So just, you've already got there. Yeah, you're, you're just, um, as long as it's within the one centimetre seam allowance, you won't see it. And it's oh, just right, to hold okay. the fabric together. It's all going to be hidden anyway. Yeah, it'll all be hidden. I mean, this is just sort of background, as it were. It's just to sort of seal it. So it doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. It's just to hold it all together while you um, make up the main panel piece. So that's very, very quick. For someone that doesn't know, what's the benefit of that being a zigzag stitch at the edge as opposed to just a straight stitch? I suppose it just, um, I suppose it will sort of close any loose sort of threads. I do wonder about doing a straight stitch as well, but I think it mm. also makes it a little bit flatter. Because it's, it's sort of going to stop it from being too bulky. Yeah, absolutely. It takes a little bit, takes part of the bulk out, shall we say. There we go. I love this print. It's such a pretty print. It's really, it is it's really, really calm. Yeah. Got quite of a zen feel to yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, like... I, I work with a lot of sort of really bright fabrics, which I love as well. I mean, I am a fabric aholic, um, <laughs> a hoarder of craft. A stash. Say. You got a stash? Yeah. Oh, I got a massive stash. Um, but something like this is actually really <laughs> calm. Do you think actually the fabric that you're working with, depending on what project you're working on at the time, that whatever fabric you have in front of you can affect your mood? Yeah, I also change the music I've got on. Do you? Yeah. Because the fabric. Oh, yeah, because you're sort of, if you've got something really sort of bright and zingy, i.e. if you tend to have something a bit more sort of... Upbeat and oh, big. Sort of, yeah, I'm not going to sing a song, but, really yeah. old. <laughs> but And then you've got something like this. I, I know it sounds really weird, but I've probably put a bit of classical music on. Yeah, Don't like a live Jay. lounge, like a... Yeah! A, yeah. Mellow. Yeah, sort mellow of magic. Stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, and I'll just trim off the edges. So as you can see, it's not designed to be brilliantly sort of neat, but it just closes it. So, yeah. I've done that um, for both pockets. And here's the other pocket. As you can see, here's one I made earlier, <laughs> as they say. And then what it tells you to do in the book, you can see actually on the, on the actual scallop, um, it starts sort of higher up here than it does sort of, it doesn't go all the way down to that bottom point. So it actually gives it a little bit... It's, it's, I rather like the design. It doesn't go right down and then across. It's sort of a little bit higher, which I think is really, really rather nice. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah rather than it being it's too just, deep. It's an extra bit of design yeah. that she puts into it. I think it's really pretty. Right, OK, which is the right way around, this way around. So you then get your um, big piece. OK, the backing. The back, well, this so is your the templates front, in the book. For yeah, that this section. is the front backing, backing front of the front piece that you actually see <laughs> here. But it's the backing to the pocket. You OK, yeah, yeah. I'm so you actually with put you. the pocket on top of it. It tells you that's the right way up. Yeah. It tells you to mark where you want your pockets to be five centimetres up. I've made it obviously six because I've got the seam allowance. Um, and I think it says 37, but it'll tell you in the book. So this is where your pockets are going to be sort of sewn that way on there. You see? So you actually sew them like that. And, and then because this you won't see. If you wanted to, you could put find to buy us on there if you're going to be that fussy but it, it doesn't ask you to and you're not going to see it because it's the inside of a pocket yes so you then Do you know as well as i was saying before what's, yeah. what is really nice about this is if you wanted to go for smaller yeah you could have you know four have loads. or three you could have yeah you loads. Could, or you could have one big one and then two smaller ones depends yeah. what you want to use it for really. exactly because it depends on what you exactly say what you're actually using it for if you've got if you're going to use you know scissors <laughs> um you want something you, with yeah you could actually sort of stitch sort of like that sort of line or you, as you could say you could actually have it something lies in like that Whatever you actually want. I think yep. it's really nice if you made it like really sort of little like this. A little small one you could see. A little see. small one and you had little sort of hold. You could put some things on it. You could put, I was saying about buttons and things. You could embellish Decorate it. it. You yeah. could really sort of go to town on your. Yeah, absolutely. So I've marked it, as you can see, from there to there. That is the actual sewn line. So the pocket with a one centimetre seam allowance needs to be one centimetre above that line, pinned in place, and then you sew along there. Okay. What I have done is I use <laughs> my erasable pen and draw a line across there. Oh, so, so you know, where, so you know where the straight is. So I will just sort of leaning over on this very high table. You don't tend to work on something this high. No one needs up. heels in this street. Yeah, you can't wear them because you'll be silent. So make sure that lines up from across and then line this one up one centimetre above like there and then using your ruler draw a line onto a, the pocket at a very unusual angle your one centimeter line there we go so i'll just do that and then you pin it in place so all of your details as well are in the book so you can just see here so did you find this easy to follow oh yeah easy to follow yeah, yeah. absolutely 
So this is um, sort of explaining how you would do it using the holes, so using those eyelets, and that talks you through that whole process for that. You've got sort of guided um, diagrams as well, pictures, so they're labelled A, B, C and D, references, you know, in the instructions themselves. So that's if you're using the um, eyelets there, as Jess has done. But then it also talks you through the process for using a coat hanger. So if you're using the poppers and you want to pop it in your wardrobe or pop it in a cupboard, um, or even in the car, actually. I quite often, I yeah, always have things. Car seat. Yeah. Kids, if you've got kids on, on journeys, they could put loads Lots of, of bits The fact you've got pieces. little crowny bits, you could personalise, you know, get yeah. shorter ones and personalise with someone's name or, or something on there. Yeah, there's loads of the things. The car is always it. full of, oh, the God, car. when we were oh, children, yeah. our car was just full of... Bits and pieces and entertainment and snacks. and <laughs> Oh, snacks. Yes, the constant snack. So I'm just going to change this back to uh, normal, as it were. So you've drawn a line a centimetre in from the bottom of that pocket and you're yeah. just going to... So I've drawn a line. That's where the actual sewing line is, which matches this. And then, um, as you can see, I follow that line all the way down from there to there. And I'll just sew that in and you do that for each pocket. So I'll do one at a time. Okay, Having lovely. changed my machine back from a zigzag to a normal stitch. It doesn't need to be as tiny as the last one because you know, you know it's it's still not you don't need to be too big but you're actually sewing through effectively one two three four five yeah, layers quite. here so which one's the most popular at the moment oh it's between it's those brand new fabrics this morning so it's between the cow parsley and the trees so you've got two different options that cow parsley is the uh, the green fabric you can see just putting through the machine at the moment that one's across the bottom of your screens digc 88 and you get a meter of fabric there and also your thread and then also a really popular one is the trees so this is another launch this is another brand new one it's because that it, oh, it maybe every, it is feeling slightly autumnal i hate to say it maybe everyone yeah. is starting to shift their mindset to that. So this is the grey option. You've got, again, that white detail and the lime green picked out. But these, I really do think these would look beautiful together if you wanted to mix and match the pockets on the cow parsley and the trees. But the, um, the little organiser that you could make would look really lovely with those, with that scalloped edge as well. Also, what's nice about that is you've got a curve in the tree, mm. in that top of the tree. I think that, you know, yeah. that's picking out that curve in the top of the pocket. I love these. You could actually embroider them with tiny little birds or something. I know, or little Christmas trees. I love trees. your you mind, your well, detail. You could in colour it mind. in one little tree or something, yeah. just to make that one stand out. I just love it. I little just think it's a really pretty fabric. Bit of extra something. Yeah. Pizzazz. So that's the tree bundle and um, NJGC55. That comes with the thread as well. But if I just, let's just look at those together. The colours do work really. Oh, it's really nice, isn't it? Just as a colour combination, if you wanted to mix and match them, then you know, then you could. Beautiful. So you've just stitched our just pocket stitch one, on, and I'll just stitch the other one on as I've well. I've stolen your other pocket. That's all right. <laughs> so let's just put that on there. Line it up centimetre centimetre. Just making sure it's that way around. The arrows are actually quite useful, aren't they? they when you get are, to this point, they are. Also, I mean, if you had, if you decided to sort of save your lovely fabric, um, your gorgeous cow parsley or tree fabric, you could use a different fabric to line the pocket with anyway. You could use a contrast, you know. Yeah, a solid or, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I've got to stop saying absolutely. It's becoming a bit annoying. There we go. Right, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone I finds her... Uh, I can't remember what word it was that Janice Hobbs was saying the other day that she says all the time. But you do find yourself just... Well, you, you naturally do, have speech patterns that you just... Well, you pick up what your you kids follow. are saying. So I think um, a few months ago, my kids were always saying epic, which at first I thought... That's become oh, that's a really trendy cute. word. Yeah. But now I just find it so irritating. I don't know whether that's becoming old. Um, but also, I think it takes away from the word because epic is meant to be, you know, epic is, to me, a meant like awesome, incredible, and make, you know, yeah. big. And if you start using that for, oh, that cup of tea was epic, that's not yeah, really, it's not really, it's not it's really relevant, is it? You know, Come on. It's like, um, I think when, remember Wicked yes. used to be, do you remember that one? And uh, going back to many years ago, my, when my father was young, he used to use cripes. What's the word? Cripes. 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 I've never heard I think, that I word. I think it's a sort of Jeebs and Worcester type. It's hilarious. <laughs> I used to go, Dad, just so embarrassing. But some of those words come back in fashion, which I think is quite cool. Yeah, but... it's like names do. Yeah. Sort of, you know, you have lo loads of sort of girls who've got um, the names that my mother, my grandmother was called Millicent, and I, I know a few sort of Millicents in my, my kids' school. They're coming back through. Yeah, Edith, Millicent, all those lovely yeah. names which are coming back. Right, I'll just say this one on. Okay. So because this is getting wider, wrap it up a bit. Oh, Hold okay. It. Go for a roll. Go for a roll. <laughs> like if you've got a massive quilt and you sort of wrap these huge, when you see sort of little sewing machines with huge quilts sort of being fed through. 
same principle. Where there's a will, there's a way. I think you can just Absolutely. Run. You can always, if you want to sew, there's always a way. You can always figure it out. So you've not put the backing fabric on. That's no. going to be the last That's the last thing. bit. So we just go like that. So the process so far was the uh, wadding put onto that fabric for the for the whole backing panel. Then you did the same with the um, sort of sandwich, the two fabrics with the wadding for the pockets. And yep. then you created those scallops. And now we're attaching those onto the main yep. body of the hanging. Just getting a little bit out of line there. It's always very difficult sewing, sort of standing up at a weird angle. When you think the amount of times, I think it's probably better for your back, the amount of times you sort of sew and you're sort of crouched down. In some ways, it's probably nice to stand up for once. Right, okay, almost done. Like that. There we go, and up. I think even working with a different machine is probably, you know, it's like driving a car. It's just different to what you're oh, used yeah. to. It's like when you first you get a hire car and you're thinking, now, may I have the iron on again, please? Yeah, of course. Because then you're going to pu push the pockets up like this and then press. You don't top stitch that, you just oh, press sorry. it down. Sorry. Put that on. Oh, that rotary cut is fine. I'll pop that there. And you just give it a quick press and then you do a zigzag just to hold those in place and then you add the, um, the back. Okay. So let's just. I know we can't iron on that mat. We've just. I know. We're running out of room this morning. I don't want can't. to move that sewing machine. Right. Oh, we just off the mat. We're all good. That's all right. Just give it a quick press. You can see that I'll show you in a sec. It sort of slightly shifts. Oh, that rotary cutter is shut. I think someone was concerned that this was open. It's fine. It's no, not. No, it's shut. <laughs> I think we're okay. It might look. It might look like it is, but it isn't. So, you then do a zigzag around the sort of side pockets to hold it. So let's just take that off for a sec. Okay. So then you pin the pins again. Just this to here. Remember as well, if you've got any questions for Jess, you can email um, studio at sewingquarter.com or just go to the website and message the studio. That's sort of for shorter messages. So the end will get cut off if you write a really long message. If you've got a long one, email it to us, studio at sewingquarter.com. So let's just do that. What you may find is because um, depending on what sort of fleece you've got, it might stretch when you pull. So pull it across. So you'll see this is actually cut the same length. But actually, no, it's fine. Sometimes it can be a little bit no, wider. That's right on the edge. That's yes, right on the edge is fine. So just make sure it's nice and smooth, always smooth as you go. And then just pin this. And then we just do a quick zigzag um, to hold those two in place. And then it's time to add the um, backing. And then muck about with eyelets if we have time. I'm going yes. to do hammering on set. <laughs> I love eyelets. I have so much. I, do you know, know I've never seen use? them done on, on no, set, so it well, would be good to do if we get to them. Well, what are we doing for time? It's, it's one well, of those, be okay. Zigzag. It's one of those um, things where you, the first time you sort of do it, you think to yourself, this can't be right. This can't be right, and I'm a bit scared. <laughs> but once you've done them, you just want to do eyelets on everything. Yeah. <laughs> Let's grab those eyelets. Let's see. So we've used, um, we're selling these on the show as well today, so you can see here, but you're getting, you've got 10 in here, so you've got plenty. We've only used three um, on the hanging. But obviously as well, if you wanted to use one or two, it's, it's up to you how many you wanted to use. And then using a ribbon to thread that through so you can hang it. But these are 1.4 centimetre, so 14 millimetre eyelets and washers. But they're great for bag making, you know, if you wanted to create a, um, you know, sort of a drawstring bag. For, for your children for September, for school, a duffel bag, a laundry bag, hang on the back of the door. Just gives you that strength, doesn't it, on yeah. the handle. And it just, it looks really professional as well. You think of, I mean, I've seen so many bags on the beach, the standard sort of canvas ones. I think we yeah. sell lots of beach fabric as well, or don't we? like we? a rope or something put through. Oh, yeah, the classic, yeah, I've, I've done a few of those. Yeah. Um, it's, and I think we've done one of those before as well, the sort of buckety sort of bags. Yes, yeah. And you can come in different sizes, but I've, I haven't actually, I think this is the first time I've actually used one that size. It's just lovely. I think um, if you're doing a sort of like a laundry bag for a bathroom or something like that, you it's can quite just... chunky. It's yeah, got it's like really a nice... nice and chunky. Really, really lovely. And, and the go. silver as well is perfect for those grey, for the grey and the green fabric actually. Yeah, it contrasts really nicely. Let's just do the other side. Let's go up both sides and then. Oh, that's the one. Way. This one. Here you go. You can see sometimes it stretches across. Oh yes. If it does, let's just show that. I don't know if you can see on a close up there. Does it stretch across? If it does, don't worry about it. Just cut here. it off. So you can just see that's you know gone a little bit further across. Yeah. And there it is. So I'll just take the pins off and then just trim it. Just to make it nice. We've got about four minutes. Ooh! 
Ooh, I know. Ooh, it always goes so quickly now. It's quite. I don't so know you get to the end as well. It feels like that last case. bit goes. Yeah, that's Speedy fine. Gonzales. In that case, I'll just very quickly put these together, and then we can do the backing very quickly. Okay. I'll show you how to do that, and then we can talk about eyelets. Oh, that's a shame. I quite fancy doing some hammering. <laughs> Early morning, get Early that morning, tension out. Yeah, it's, you know, if you can't sort of have breakfast leisurely, then you can maybe hammer something. <laughs> what you can have cake for breakfast. We've still got some of Natasha's birthday cake out in the office. Yeah, I Our was. Our floor manager, Jay, this morning had cake for breakfast. Well, you can't blame him. Very continental. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, just put use that as an excuse. Put that down. This is speed sewing. Let's just keep going. Oh, <laughs> all the way down. I'm just going this so I can join the other pocket so it's nice and quick. Here we go, let's move it up and up, there we go. So this is just holding your two pockets to the back. Because you're, it, it, this isn't going to sort of like, you know, hold it as a, as a fine uh, finished article, finished article, as it were. Um, you're actually doing that when you, when you um, sew it in with your lovely one centimetre seam allowance, so it's just, just holding it. This is this. just assembling it, yeah, really? Yeah, just assembling it. So you do that bit, and then... Oh, and you only sew up to the pocket? Yeah. Yeah. So you only do those, those bits, and then you pin right sides facing, right sides together. Um, make sure that's the right way up, because this is your up bit. Yep. You pin that all the way around. I haven't got time to do it now, so we'll just talk about it. Um, you sew. You, you're going to have your turning gap at the bottom. So you make a mark. Um, you don't need to be huge, because it's nice and, nice and malleable. Mm. About there. Good and word. about there. Malleable. Malleable. And you sew from here all the way around down to there again making sure because you're going to pull it your back stitch at the start and the finish just like you do the cushion really yeah. just leaving that yeah that absolutely. Bottom section. absolutely using it so you one centimeter clip the corners trim off any excess seam allowance because it's quite bulky you don't want it to be too big so i trimmed it about um uh, half a centimeter okay turn it way around use your um chopstick or implement of choice to poke out all the edges, press it, because you may feel, because it's like fleece, it feels like it goes a bit sort of, you know, it feels like it's not in the right shape, but it will be. You press it all the way around, and then you can see on here, you, whoops. Oh, that's whoops. all right, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. Oh. You can see you've got your um, five centimetre, in fact, I'll just grab it across here. That's it, and yeah. just move it, here we go. Oh, it's got so much stuff in it, brilliant. <laughs> um, you sew a line of stitching, five centimetres, um, down from the top, that's just it. long here. Just reinforcing that top section. Just reinforcing, yeah, it. it's a detail thing. Sorry, I was just going to show you that. Yep. And then you mark however you want it, to, want it to actually be, whether you want three, one, two, whatever actually you want, your eyelet. So you start with the centre and then equidistant. Another Any tips, word. just quick tips for those eyelets? Yes, I would say we get a piece of fabric here. So when you've actually got it, just move that to one side and I'll do this upside down. So imagine this is your middle bit, and yeah. you've got your five centimetre line. Find the middle point, sort of here, and then work out the middle bit between there and there, and using the ruler, not freehand, yeah. and find your middle point there. Then draw a cross like that. The reason is, I've got some eyelets open. This is the inner bag. Yeah. That's all right, here we go. You get 10 in there, so you've got plenty for this yeah, and, when you and first for more. see this, you think, I don't know how to, this looks a bit weird. Mm. Um, so you then, you can see this is, it comes in two parts, like this. And that's, the, then you sort of put these like that, fabric between the two, that like, where are we, that way around, on top. Get your hammer and whack about 20, 30 times, depending. Okay. And what actually happens is this bit, you can see your, put my finger there, this bit here curves back into that, so you end up with it sort of... So they lock together. They lock together, yeah. And you think, that's why you think, oh, doesn't it right? I'll just show you that there if you can see. Yeah, so it locks together. And it tells you, I mean, it will show you on the back the order it goes in. So you have this bit first, and you can see it, it's, it's got a little sort of ridge line there. So that bit goes flat on the mat. Then you have your nice big bit here. Little hat yeah. goes in the ridge there. Your fabric then goes the cross in there. the middle. Yeah, um, that on top, and then you whack. But what I would say when you're doing when you've got all three of your crosses, just to give it a sort of central line, so you can cut your hole out first of all. Just give it a little. You know, okay. Yeah, if you had a little Sorry, Jess, we're out of time. Oh, we're run, 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 I know. Sorry. And then no, you slip a little fine. hole and you push it through and stuff. But anyway, okay. the instructions are on there. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Right. You're back at tending your I laptop am. case. I am, yes. So we can, Jess will be back in a second, so she's not going anywhere well no. in an hour's time. Thank you so much. That's Sorry okay. we ran out of time. That's all right. So let's just grab the book. Um, so we've got three, we've got four different fabric options for um, for the wall hanging this morning. So that one that Jess has been working with is the cow parsley. This is the most popular. This has been a brand new premiere this morning. It's a launch, so we've never had this on the show before. But that lovely, bright sort of um, spring green um, with the cow parsley detail on it there and teamed with a, a nice bright green thread as well. This one's the most popular, DIGC88. We're in single figures of that, 11.45. If you fancy the cow parsley wall hanging. So that one's brand new today. Another one that's brand new today is our trees fabric. So this again is on that soft sort of gray background. You've got that green picked out in some of the trees. What's lovely about this is you've got that curve that's mirrored in the scalloped edge of the pockets for the wall hanging, which is really lovely. NJGC55. That one's also 11.45. Then you've also got, if you want to make the wall hanging, all of the instructions you need are in this book from Tilda. So we haven't had this on the show for a couple of months. We've managed to get it back in. Loads of gorgeous projects, over 35 projects in here, going through all different rooms in the house and different projects. So, you know, the conservatory and um, the hobby room and the bedroom and just lots of lovely different projects. If you want some inspiration, maybe you're already thinking about doing Christmas presents for people, but you can see their chair cushions and table mats. Lots of inspiration. So thank you so much to Jess for doing that wall hanging in this hour. She's back doing a laptop case at 10, but don't go anywhere. I've got some fabrics to show you in just three minutes. So grab a cup of tea and I'll see you shortly. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. This Sunday, we're helping you unlock your quilting potential through clever use of templates. Join expert quilters Lucy Brennan and Jane Alcock as they demonstrate a range of techniques using creative grid rulers. From bags to blocks and beautiful cushions, we've got a morning of exciting demos lined up for you. At 9am, Lucy will treat us to a Creative Grids Masterclass in which she'll show us a selection of gorgeous quilt blocks made easy with these must-have tools. Then at 11 a.m. she'll create a curvy log cabin cushion using fabulous fabrics from our new Botanica collection. So tune in from 8 a.m. till 12 p.m. on Sunday the 20th of August for a morning packed with quilting tips and techniques. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the Sewing Quarter worth £14.99. Join us this Friday when Lucy Brennan will be creating a stunning star quilt. Lucy will show us her take on a friendship star block, talking you through her technique step by step. She'll create this block in two stunning colour options so you can choose between punchy brights or calming pastel tones. Whichever palette you pick, this versatile quilt will look at home in both children's and adults' rooms alike with its light and fresh feel. So don't miss Lucy's Quilting Masterclass this Friday at 9am only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more.
Good morning. Welcome back. If you've just joined us, it's lovely to have you here this morning. Um, so this, this hour is bundles of colour. So we've got some gorgeous bundles that we've put together for you. Um, lots of different fabrics, you know, whether they're solids or linear texture fabrics, um, but also some really lovely bright designed fabrics that you would have seen on the show before that we've brought together and bundled up for you. So if you wanted to pair those for different projects to add to your stash, or perhaps you've got something in mind, lots of fabric inspiration in this hour for you. Now, remember as well, we'd love you to get in touch. So please let me know you're there this morning. Let me know what you're up to. Maybe you're waiting to hear for a phone call with A-level results this morning. Let me know what you're, how it's all going. Studio at sewingquarter.com is the email address there. Or send in some pictures if you see any fabrics in this hour that perhaps you've already done a project in. I'd love to see your projects in those. But also you can get in touch via the website. So if you head to sewingquarter.com, and if you go to the uh, watch page, just at the top of the menu, there's a watch icon. If you just click on that and under the live feed of today's show, so you'll see me talking about bundles of fabric, um, there's a message the studio box on the right hand side. So you can drop us a message there. Let us know, um, you know what you're up to today. How's the weather outside as well? Has it cheered up from this morning? I was here very early at six o'clock this morning and the weather was not great. So I'm hoping that it might have cheered up a bit. But who knows? Or maybe if you're John and you're in San Diego, I'm sure the weather's beautiful. Not that we're jealous, John. So um, we've got bundles of fun, lots of different bundles in this hour this morning. I'm going to start with this pink bundle. So this one here is two and a half metres of fabric. So you're getting five half metre cups of fabric. You've got three solids, uh, yeah, three solids and two linear um, look fabrics. So they've got sort of a cross hatching detail in them. But this lovely and um, bright bundle, this pink one. So this one here, first of all, is sort of a purpley, a purpley pink, a magenta there. Half a metre of that solid. Then that's been paired with half a metre again of that really sort of complementary, this has got a sort of a satin look to it actually, almost a, a bit of a sheen with that cross hatching detail on a pink background as well. You will have graphics in just a second, they're just coming up, they're just sorting it out upstairs. Then we've got one leaning towards, oh I've had a top made out of this colour, I've definitely worn a top made out of this on the show. Um, so this one here is a sort of a bright, uh, again a sort of a purpley pink. Then again, another cross hatch detail. But this one here is one where if you look really closely, you can see that there's um, you know, a bit more detail in that fabric. There is that linear texture, there is that cross hatching and those lines running through these two. Just gives you a bit more depth and structure as well if you want to team those. So this one is available on the web at the moment. The graphics aren't coming up on your screen. They are trying to sort that out upstairs. So if you want to, um, you can ring up the call centre, 0800 112 4433. And the code is BLGC44. BLGC44. So that one as well, you've got there, this is almost like a um, sort of a, a wine colour there with that rich purple. But this pink and purple bundle this morning, three solids, so half a metre of all of these and half a metre as well of those cross-hatched linear look fabrics as well. So the bundles that we bring to you are fabrics that we want to, you know, to, to, to bring as a family, a collection of fabrics, if you like, that we think work really well together. Our buyers look at all of the colours, they look at what, um, you know, what, what teams up beautifully, the colour palette, how it works together, how those come together as a team. And those, those pinks and purples there have all been put together in a bundle. And here comes your graphic for this one, there it is, BLGC44, two and a half metres of fabric, and that's 1945 for that one. So that's our pink. This table is going to get really full in this hour. I can feel it already. I've got a stack of fabric here. So we've also got a yellow and grey bundle. Again, this is a two and a half metre bundle, so five half metre cuts. I'll start with this really lovely soft yellow with your, and this, these are lovely for quilting as well. These are 100% cotton. But if you want to, you know, introduce those solids for backing or for binding or to add a bit of detail with your spot on, but that lovely uh, soft yellow there, spot on half a metre of that. Then you've got half a metre of your, I think this is glacier grey, that really soft grey background there. That's a solid, so just a rich uniform colour, one colour all the way through. Then you've got half a metre of that linear look fabric again, so that cross hatching detail, which was picked out in the pinks and purples in that bundle too. You can see just creeping in here that bright yellow. This is a really vivid yellow there. And a softer yellow as well. 
So you've got yellows and greys in that bundle. Oh, we've had a message in. Who's this one from? Beverly, morning, Beverly. Uh, morning, Amy. The sun is shining on the west coast of Scotland. I'm very jealous that it's that it's sun shining up there. I really wanted to go up to Edinburgh Fringe. is on at the moment. Well, I know that's not the west coast, but um, all the all the different shows that are on up there at the moment. It's such a great great event. Who's going to that event? Oh, Joe Carter's going up to Edinburgh Fringe. It's a fab event if you get a chance to go. So many um, amazing different musicals and comedians, and it's a really worthwhile thing to go to. Um, so thanks for that, Beverly. I'm glad the sun's shining where you are. Hopefully, by the time we leave here at 12 o'clock today, the sun will make an appearance. But this is a nice sunshine bundle. If not, you've got your yellows and greys there. XWGC44, and that's 2045. So you've got your spot on, um, a crosshatch detail, and three solids. Now, the next one, this table, here we go, is our uh, blue. So this is, a, again, uh, your cross-hatching and your spot on. Let's move those. So starting with that lovely soft blue spot on, that's a really nice baby blue, actually, for this one. And then also you've got a linear look cream, sort of an ivory there. So it's almost a bit of a twist on um, spots and stripes, but in a really small, uh, sort of a fine way with those tiny little dots there and then your crosshatch detail on that ivory fabric. Then you've also got, this one's like the sky, cornflower blue. Then you've also got a, another one from Makawa, that linear look with that crosshatching. And then you've got a grey blue there as well with your solid. This would be lovely for um, perhaps if there's a new little uh, a baby in the family, you know, if you wanted to do a project for a, for a newborn grandchild or, or your own child. I was going to say for a little boy, but I watched a documentary last night, I don't know if anybody else watched it, about um, trying to keep everything more gender neutral in schools and keep stopping things from being, you know, all being pink for girls and blue for boys. And so I'm not going to say this would be lovely for boys, it would be lovely for anyone. Blues or pinks or yellows, whatever, like, whatever you like. So that one, LVGC88, that's the blue bundle. Again, you've got two and a half metres in there, half a metre of all of those fabrics. I'll keep those, um, those slightly bigger bundles out so you can see the colour combinations if you want to mix and match them or just to add some to your stash. But now as well, we've got some really lovely and more, you know, designed fabrics with some different prints, some bold prints. These are really great price and I think these are going to go really quickly this morning because these are, these are bundles that we've put together that we've never had in these combinations on the show before. So I've never actually seen this fabric. I'm not sure if, how much this is, has this been on very much? No, producer Hannah's never seen it before, so it's maybe only been on once. But this one here has got a lovely, this is from um, a Japanese range, and this is a butterfly fabric there with that sort of, um, a lovely, it's got a blue background. I'll open it up a little bit. So you get half a metre of that, and you've got your creams and a soft blue in that butterfly as well, and some navy detail in that. And that one there has also been teamed with two solids, but I'll show you this one first of all. Lots of detail there in that Japanese dragonfly. I think I just called that a butterfly, but it is in fact a dragonfly. I stand corrected. And then you've also got two solids in this bundle. So if we just show you those, how they work together. So you've got that um, really sort of soft buttermilk cream there. Vanilla. Or as producer Hannah's, producer Hannah's saying, I can't say vanilla. How do you say it, Hannah? Vanilla. No, but I can't say it how you're saying it. Vanilla. Vanilla, no, it is vanilla, we're sick to ice cream. And then you've also got that grey, uh, that sort of grey blue there as well that picks out some of the detail in the dragonflies. Really great value, 12.45, a metre and a half of fabric. So you've got half a metre of each of these. And these are all 100% cotton, GDGC88. And that's a great price because considering you're getting sort of a designed fabric there, you know, that dragonfly detail from the Japanese collection. Um, oh, that would be a lovely for, um, I, I, can't, I always say bags because I always think of bags, but, you know, that would be lovely for a nice summery bag if you wanted to, to go for some dragonflies. Should we move these ones along? Maybe I should fold this one up. Okay. Let's try and keep the table a little bit in order. I'm just going to go through these quickly so you can see the different fabrics that we've got in the show this morning and then we can go back and look at them and see which ones have been popular. So I'll move that to there. Then we've also got, oh, I like these. This is our cats. 
our cat fabric. And this one, oh, the colour match on that is absolutely perfect. So a metre and a half of fabric, half a metre again of all of these. You've got that um, spot on grey there. I'll show you that one to start with. The spot ons are really lovely for backings as well. If you want to have something a little bit more interesting than maybe a solid, and then, you know, the spots just add a little bit more detail. But we love the cats. Let's look at the cats. This is the, the, you know, perhaps the highlight of the bundle, you might say, with that designer print there. And um, you've got the, this is the yellow outline of cats there. We always, producer Paul and I always say he thinks he can spot a mouse. I can only see cats in this, but you could do a love. If you, perhaps if you like cats, you could do a, um, a cushion or even a little cat cushion or a cat bed for that with a backing, you know, teamed with that spot on or that yellow solid you can see underneath. A really golden yellow there. And the colour match is absolutely, I was going to say spot on, which is this fabric. It is absolutely perfect. Again, 100% cotton. GXGC00. That one's 11.45 and you've got half a metre of all of those. Your spot on, your cat outline and your bright golden yellow as well. Let's do some folding. Our floor manager, Jay's ironed all of these and now I'm just folding them up. That's not, that's not really fair, is it? Okay, let's move those over to the side. Oh, then we've got whales. This one for me is always bathrooms. I always see bathrooms if I see a fabric with this sort of print. So this one is uh, your whales on grey. I'll open this up so you can see a little bit more. This is lovely for... Um, so you, this is how much of each, of each fabric you're getting. This is half a metre here. It's a lot of fabric. You get a metre and a half in total. So this is lovely if you wanted to create maybe a little storage caddy for the bathroom or, um, you know, a laundry bag for the back of the door. So half a metre of that. And then you also get half a metre of two different solids. So you've got a navy and a cornflower blue. That's it. So this is a... So the whale is actually a really... If I just show you the difference, look how wide that whale fabric is. Let's have a look. Let me just check how wide that is. So the solids are your normal width. I'm just going to check the width of this um, whales one. This is definitely a... Oh, I think it's even longer than the tape measure, is it? Nearly, nearly. It might be 150. Um, 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 um. It is. It is. <laughs> just... It must be 100, uh, the tape measure is 150 centimetres, so it must be just over 150. So it's a really nice wide fabric. This is lovely as well, that's what we were always saying with the whale fabric for, um, for curtain blinds. If you want a bit more width or perhaps you're doing curtains. But obviously this is already pre-cut, so this is half a metre of that. Half a metre of your whales, and then you get half a metre of your navy blue. Let me fold this one back up. And half a metre as well of your um, sky blue. If I just line these up so you can see them all together. If there are any of these bundles that you want to see again, remember, just drop us a message and we can go back through them. You can see that sky blue there. Picking out that detail as well in the whale, so you've obviously got different shades of blue. A nice powder blue actually picked out in this, but also you've got your navies and some darker blues and a turquoise picked out in that wave detail. MRGC22. That one's great value, 9.45, a metre and a half of fabric again there. And again, you're getting that wider fabric, so you've got a bit more to play with. Okay, let me just pass that one to the side. <laughs> Let's move this one. Thank you, Jay. That's it, lovely. Then we've also got, oh, this is nice. I haven't seen this one either. We've got some... There's a really lovely one there. That looks like it. Oh, I'll show you that one in a minute. So, <laughs> get distracted. This one here, I think this, is this one blue sky? This is the blue and white moon bundle. And so you've got that really, this is, this has got a really rich feel to it, actually, in the colours. It's got a, you know, the, this is a, I don't know if this is a slightly thicker fabric, but it's definitely got a, it's got a nice sort of sheen to it. So you can just see that there, the blue and white um, flower detail. I love the detail on there. What was this one called? Cloud Nine? Cloud Nine fabric. It's a nice calm colour selection there. 
I think that's a nice sophisticated. I'm not very good with flowers. Blue to Hannah says, is that a hydrangea? I'm not too sure. I think it might be. Someone will let me know. Let me know. Is that a hydrangea? <laughs> so you get half a metre of that. And then you also get half a metre of, you can just see there, that blue that's been teamed perfectly with it. So that's your um, classic sort of Macau solid, the same width as all of those. And then also you've got there, that bright white. So as well with these, you don't have to use them all in the same project if you wanted to utilise perhaps the blues together and then use the white for something else, put it in your stash. We know, like Jess is just saying, she's got a massive fabric stash. Perhaps you don't have a guest bedroom, but you have got a room stuffed with fabric and goodness knows whatever else. So um, yeah, lots of different fabric options this morning in these bundles, but you've got your solid white, your solid blue, and also that cloud nine fabric there with that lovely silky feel. Lots of people liking that one. That's a really popular one this morning. Let me just show you that there. Gorgeous, I've never seen that one. 12.45. Move this one to the side. <laughs> this is like just so, we're going to have a, like a tree. I don't know why I said something, someone's going to say a tree house full of fabric, but a whole room full of fabric. We're not in a tree house. I don't know why that came into my head. I always wanted a tree house when I was younger. Maybe that's why. That was so, that was very random. So, oh, this is our lobster bundle. These are lovely fabrics. Now, I've seen pictures on our social media pages before of someone making projects out of this. So if you've made a project out of this fabric, send it in and show us what you've made. So this one here has got a lovely nautical feel to it. I'm going to open it out because I really like this one. This has got an aqua background. And then you've got that intertwined sort of ribbon and rope feel, that nautical feel running through the whole thing. But it gives it a really lovely shape. It's got a nice curve running through it. And then you've got your lobster detail and sort of splashes going through all of that. And your shells as well. But I love that sort of curve that that just creates there. I really like the colours in that. And then paired with that lobster bundle, you've also got this aqua, so picking out that uh, background colour, but in a slightly brighter tone, which works really well. And then you've got this coral. So half a metre of both of those, and then half a metre of your lobster fabric, which is really cute and playful. Again, that would be lovely for bathrooms or for a bag for swimming, perhaps if you're getting ready for the September term, getting ready to go, go back to school. NAGC 77, that's your lobster bundle. Again, a metre and a half of fabric. We've still got more bundles to come. So, yes, this is the one. This is the one I wanted to show. Let me just move that to the side. Thank you. Oh, I love this. This reminds me, and I don't know if I can say it, of a, um, of a famous department store fabric. Um, this is a lawn. Uh, that's, this has got a really different feel to it. It's got a re Oh, this is gorgeous. I've not seen this before. This one's in this bundle too. Fru Fru. This is what a great name as well. Oh, this is gorgeous. That is absolutely... Oh, I love that fabric. So this is um, a, co a cotton lawn. So it's got a, a different, slightly different feel to it. Really lightweight. Lovely for summer clothes. Lovely for something where you want, you know, a little bit more um, soft sort of drape to it. You can still use it in your patchwork. It's, you know, it is still a cotton. I've never seen this one before. That lovely floral print there on port. But with your cream and also picking out some detail with that slate grey. That's really gorgeous. So we've teamed that with two solids. You've got a nice, rich burgundy red. But, you know, even a really simple cushion, if you wanted to go for um, perhaps, you know, a backing with that burgundy fabric, you could go for the frou-frou for the main feature on the front, and then you could maybe bind it, or you could have a, an edging with this, a piping with this uh, cream that's also been put in this bundle. So that classic cream, again, picking out the flowers from that. A like, frou-frou, I just want to keep saying it, that's such a fun fabric name. You've got the cream there as well that's just been picked out. 
so flurry, flurry with port. But you could do, again, if you, if you are getting into that, starting to think about doing gifts, whether that's, you know, a little toiletry bags or makeup bags, you could do that with this fabric for, a, you know, you've got plenty of fabric there. Half a metre of all of those. You know, as opposed to buying a makeup bag, you know, on its own, if you wanted to, you could probably make a couple out of this selection of fabric. And you could go for different linings, you could mix and match them, you could do the pockets in the solids, or you could do the, you know, a pocket on the inside with just a, a small section of that fabric, and then go for the main body of the makeup bag or purse and your solids. But TTGC80, that's, I love that one, 16.45, that's your frou-frou, frou-frou on port. So we've also got another frou-frou in a different colour combination. I have to say this colour is my favourite, this one. It's sort of a, it's, it's, it, although it's port, it's like a pinky burgundy. It's got a, there's definitely some pink tone coming through in that. It's a really, it's a nice, it's a really classy fabric. I like that one a lot. You can probably tell that I'm going on and on about it. So this one as well is also another frou-frou. So this is on, um, on a darker fabric, on more of a, um, oh, producer Hannah's preferring this one. So, you know, whatever takes your fancy. It's going to be controversial. Let's open this one. There's no rights and wrongs. That's all right. Yeah. So this one here, you're um, introducing actually a little, little spot of teal in the, um, in the flower there, but more violets and darker colours in this palette. And again, with your cream detail in the flower. And then if you wanted to pair that with two solids, again, from that perhaps piping. And then you've also got a really bright purple as well, sort of a royal purple. If you wanted to mix and match those, then you've got the option to do that. I think I would use those two together and then I'd probably use the purple for something different. I think that keeps it really smart. That's a nice, it's quite a um, sophisticated. That's a different colour cream to the one that's been paired with that, um, with that free fruit in the port but this one here is the purple version and there is a purple solid in there I, I I wouldn't use that solid purple I don't think with the flowers I'd use that separately one for your stash JWGC 99 1645 so this one is a crew that uh, cream in that bundle whereas the cream in the other bundle is a slightly um more of a buttermilky cream it's a warmer cream this is a slightly um more natural more natural cream <laughs> I'm kind of roughly folding and then just passing to the side. <laughs> Thank you. And then you've also got, oh, if you're waiting to see our last one, this is our very last bundle this morning. So if you've been waiting and we've already had a few messages that people want to see again, we'll get back to those in just a second. I haven't seen this one either. Oh, elephants. This is lovely. I love those biscuity colours because this has sort of got a, a natural feel with those colours there with the grey picked out in the elephant. Sort of a sandy colour actually. Oh, that's really lovely. I like that a lot. And teamed with a cream spot on. Well, that's a bit bright, isn't it? Let's move that to the side. I really like that elephant one. That natural, it's got a really lovely natural um, sort of feel to it as well. But the, it's the colours. I think that makes it slightly more of a... Um, more grown up, you know, that those colours. Obviously, it's the classic elephant colour. Really smart if you wanted to. You know, the, the bright colours perhaps have more of a playful feel to them, whereas this one definitely has a more sophisticated grown up feel to it. It's, it's subtle, it almost, you know, it's almost nothing more than a, a big polka dot would be, but when you look closely, you notice that it's got that detail of an elephant. And it's teamed with a solid grey as well there. So a metre and a half of fabric in total. You've got half a metre of all three of those. But that elephant one in the middle, really lovely. 11.45, BYGC 77. So that's our, that's our last bundle. I did say there was a lot of different options this morning. Let's move this one. So someone has asked to see our cat bundle. Let's have a look at that. From Samantha. Morning, Samantha. Let's find our cats for you. Here it is. So, I'll open this one out so you can see a little bit more. There it is. So, this is a cat outline in yellow on a grey background. You can just see that detail there with the cats. It goes all the way along. I always say this one reminds me a bit like um, a heart monitor. You know, like it's, a bit, it's in the shape of cats as it's sort of going along the fabric. You can just see there that different detail, like cats on a shelf. 
There it is. Maybe if you love cats, that's what your heart rate monitor looks like. <laughs> So if you do want to see any of those bundles again, we are really, we're more than happy to show you those because we know we've showed you a lot this morning. Just email us, studio at sewingquarter.com. That goes straight up to our producer, Hannah, upstairs, and then we can show you those bundles again. Let me move that to the side. So you also get a really um, bright sunshine yellow that is an absolutely perfect match with those yellow cats on the grey outline. So that's paired with this bundle as well. Half a metre of your yellow, half a metre of your cats. Oh, we've got less than 10 in stock of these once everyone's checked out their baskets. So if you do like this one, please do. Um, you can head to the website or you can give the call centre a ring. 0800 112 4433. Cats and dogs are just always so popular. Lots of us have got our pets at home, you know. Maybe if your cat sits next to your sewing machine. I still haven't got over the day. I've forgotten the name of the lady that sent it in, but she sent in a picture of her cat on her sewing machine, like sitting on the top of her machine. I don't know if we've got the, um, but send in your pictures. I love seeing them of all your pets with your, with your sewing projects. So you've also got a grey spot on with this one as well. So three different fabrics in total there for that bundle. This is your feline cat bundle. GXGC00 and that's 1145. Now, I do just want to say as well, with the bundles, if you don't know about these, these um, are pre-cut, so they're already cut into half metre increments. So if you bought, um, say, two of the cat bundles, you wouldn't get a metre of each fabric. They would already be uh, cut into sections, so you'd get two half metre cuts of the cat, two half metres of the yellow, two half metres of the spot on. They're not sort of joined together. They're not being cut off the bolt. They're already cut for you. So that's our cat one. I hope that one, I hope that helps, Samantha. Maybe you've got a project in mind. Let me know what it was. <laughs> Oh, someone wants to see the two different frou-frous. Let's move that one over there. I'll start with my favourite. <laughs> so this is the port frou-frou. This is such a lovely... You really feel the difference when you go... This is a, a cotton lawn, so this is a lighter fabric. This one is... Oh, this one's in the lead. Good, good work, good work. Congratulations if you would have bought that one this morning. So this is um, the frou-frou fabric, fabric. Oh, that's too many Fs. Frou-frou fabric in um, port with that lovely vintage floral on there. Really lovely. Paired with a warm cream there. That's solid cream. And also paired with a deep burgundy. You can just see those, that combination. A really smart, lots of people liking that one. Lovely for makeup bags, lovely for you know, for cushions or... But you can still use these for quilting as well. They are still 100% cotton. Perhaps as well, if you've got, you know, a, a, a quite, a, quite a cream or a plain room and you want to inject a bit of colour and you are going for a burgundy, you've got, uh, because you've got that pattern, it's a really affordable way of, you know, or also just changing up. Perhaps if you've got a room that's quite plain, like my bedroom is, I love white, which is, you know, everything's very white and, and I like it all nice and clean. But if you want to introduce a bit of colour or a, a splash of something a bit more interesting, you can change it up, whether that's, you know, covering a bin or lampshades or changing it up with new cushions. Um, you can just inject that colour and that bit of design and that that frou-frou, you know, this this actually for, with a lawn, you wouldn't use that for a lampshade necessarily, but um, for, a, for a cushion, you certainly could. Or for little storage caddies like we showed you in that Tilda book this morning. TTGC80 is the port version. But if you want to look at the other colour option for that, I'll move that one to the side. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Our floor manager Jay is doing a great job of folding all of these up. We've got lots of bundles this morning. <laughs> He's looking very happy about folding all these fabrics. Then we've also got um, it on a darker background fabric here this morning. <laughs> They're all laughing upstairs. So we've got here the um, the fru uh, fru on a purple. So this is a really deep purple there. Again, you can just see that vintage flower through all of that. These lawns as well, you know, are synonymous with, uh, with that famous apartment still. We sometimes have some of those fabrics in, you know, they have got that, that lovely feel to them, that expensive feel. And then you've also got your, was this a crew? I believe, a crew. So you've got that, um, that crew.
cream colour there. And also, if you do want to ring up and ask about any of the bundles, then you can do that. 0800 112 4433. Some of them aren't necessarily... Are they not on the website yet? They're having... Some of them aren't underneath on the website at the moment. They're not going through. They're trying to sort that out upstairs. But they are all available from the graphics on your screen. If you give the call centre a ring, even just describe the fabric. You know, if you say, oh, it was the whale one or the elephant one, they'll be able to sort that out for you. And they are a UK-based call centre as well. So no, no crazy costs. So you've also got a purple in that bundle, a solid purple, which is a really bright one. But the cream and the uh, floral work really well together. And you could perhaps use that and um, purple. You know, it doesn't have to be used as part of that combination. But that lovely flurry print there. JWGC 99. And again, that's a free free print, just in a slightly darker colour. So I'm going to come back to our Cloud 9. Let's have a look. Oh, Trevor wants to see the Cloud 9. Let's have a look at that. There you go. OK. Oh, this is a lovely one. Again, I haven't seen this before. What are you thinking of, Trevor? What are you going to make with this? Oh, you've got something in mind. So, again, you've got that cream detail on a blue background there. Almost like a pearly cream, actually, in this. There's a nice weight to this fabric as well. This is a slightly thicker fabric. So this is from the Blue Sky Collection. Cloud Nine. And that's also been teamed with a matching blue, so a complementary blue there. And also this bright white, which actually really changes the look of it. Perhaps if you wanted to, you know, make it slightly brighter or slightly cleaner, you could introduce the white. Let me just swap those over so it doesn't blind you when we do it on a close-up. There you go, you can see that with the white there. But again, if you wanted you to just have a white in your stash, you can obviously team that with most fabrics. Um, you've got half a metre of that one. So half a metre of your cloud nine, half a metre of your blue, half a metre of your white, IJGC00. And that's 12.45. Great. So let's go back and look at those um, slightly larger bundles. Thank you. And we'll look at this soft blue one to start with. So this is a two and a half metre bundle, so this is slightly larger. You're getting five fabrics in this, half a metre of all of these, two and a half in total. So you've got your um, spot on baby blue, which is a really lovely soft blue. Just that classic polka dot. You can never fail to use that for anything, I don't think. I think it's just, you know, it's a very classic print. So you can see that one there, that one's um, half a metre of that. Then you've got half a metre of your cross hatching on that soft cream. That's your linear texture vanilla, or vanilla, as producer Hannah says. <laughs> then you've got your cornflower blue. And then you've also got your linear texture there on a, on a Riviera blue. So we're going for skies and rivers in this bundle. And then you've got one more solid as well in there. This is your pearl blue, which has almost a grey uh, feel to it. LVGC88, so that's your blue bundle, two and a half metres, two solids, two linear textures and one spot on. Which one's most popular at the moment out of those, um, the yellow, pink and blue? The pink and purple, oh the blue and pink and purple are level. Let's have a look at the pink then. Let's look at the pink, pink and purple one. Perfect. So, we've got um, two linear textures in this and three solids, so there's not a spot on on this one, this is a slightly different one. But you, I'll start with this um, sort of deep pink. This is almost, um, you know, a sort of a rich wine colour there. So you've got that as a half metre of that solid from Makawa. Again, 100% cotton, just that rich uniform colour. I'll do the solids to start with, actually. These almost sort of subtle colour changes. You can see how that palette goes through. You can almost imagine that, you know, sort of arranged in, in a rainbow. This one here is Damson. I love that colour. I definitely have a top that I wore on a show made out of that fabric. 
And then we've also got another solid pink here, just showing you the different steps up so you can see. So that's another solid. What's this one called? Deep Orchid. You've got Damson, Deep Orchid. Then we've also got your linear look fabrics. So again, with that cross hatching detail. So you've got that, this is your, which was this one? Avalia. Hmm. So that one there on, and that's sort of a brighter pink there. And then you've also got a deeper pink, which works beautifully with that bottom fabric there, if you can just see. That detail, the cross hatching is picked out in exactly that sort of port-like colour on the bottom. So you can just see that cross hatching detail. So again, two and a half metres of fabric, half a metre of all of those solids and half a metre of your two cross hatch detail there. This one's really popular this morning, actually. BLGC44. Lots of people, perhaps, I don't know if you're using those for quilting. These are 100% cotton if you want to introduce them. Perhaps if you've got busy design fabric and you've got, you want some uh, plainer fabrics in your stash to combine with those, this just gives you the freedom to team up different pinks and purples if maybe you've got some, I don't know, some bright K-facet or some Tula pink or something, you know, really busy and you want to team that with a solid, then that's a pink option for you. And then we've also got yellows and greys. Producer Hannah loves yellows and greys. It's not winning today, though. The pinks and blues are winning. So <laughs> we have to always say it's not that it's a competition, but I do always, I'm always intrigued which one's going to be the most popular. I'm hoping that is the free free still the most popular out of the um, the the one and a half meter bundles. She's going to double check for me. So um, the yellow one, this is your yellows and greys. So we're injecting a bit of sunshine this morning on this grey morning. So you've got that, um, this, to start with, you've got, what's this yellow called? Let's find out. This is a um, sort of a softer yellow. This is lemon. Then you've got a really bright, bold yellow there. And that one is called, really creatively, yellow. So you've got lemon, you've got yellow. Then you've got your cross hatching there on a grey. That's your heron grey. Then you've got mercury, that solid grey there. And primrose spot on, on that soft yellow. We like to tell you the names, so if you do want to buy more of these, you can buy these by the half metre on the website. So perhaps if you like the, say, perhaps the primrose yellow or the heron grey um, crosshatch one there, if you wanted to buy um, more of the bolt for you, and these are all made from uh, by Macawa, so you can just type those into the search bar on the website. And if you wanted to buy, um, you know, whether it was the lemon, the yellow, the heron grey, you can just, um, you know, just click on solids, click on yellow, and then you can find that one that you like. If you wanted to maybe buy, if you were buying three metres of it, then that's six units of fabric, and you can cut that off the bolt to get slightly more of one of those fabrics. But if you like the bundle, if you like how they've been teamed together, and perhaps it's colours that you might not have, have perhaps put together, and when you see them, you think, oh, that works. And then that's what these bundles are all about. And also they're good value as well. So 2045, this is your yellow and grey bundle, and XWGC44. So talking about yellow and grey, Cats is winning. It's overtaken, uh, my free free has been overtaken by Cats this morning. So let's have a look at this. So this is the Cats outline on grey. Samantha wanted to see this this morning. Maybe you've added this one to your basket. So you've got a project in mind. So you can just see that cat outline on that um, sort of slate grey background and that really bright, almost an electric yellow. How many of these bundles remaining? Oh, only eight of this one left in stock. So if you do like this one, you will have to be quick. Please do check out your basket if you've got that in there. I don't want you to miss out. Just do that now. So um, this one here is your slate grey background with that yellow cat outline. And that's been paired with your sunshine yellow. Perhaps you wanted to do a cat bed or a cat cushion. Or maybe even use a little tiny section of that, make a catnip toy. <laughs> and you've also got a grey spot on in that bundle as well. All of these are 100% cotton. Half a metre of your spot on, half a metre of your yellow. Can I just check the name on that yellow? And then you've also got your grey and yellow cat outline there.
So this one's called bright yellow, not to be confused with the simply yellow or the lemon. <laughs> so this is a, slight, this is a slightly warmer uh, yellow, actually. You can see that when you see those different. Lots of people multiplying that one. Perhaps you're going to, you know, um, in, in, um, pop those all together into one big project. But this is the yellow, just so you can see the difference. This is bright yellow and this is yellow. But you're getting bright yellow in that bundle there which has a warmer feel to it, again from Macawa. GXGC00, we're in single figures on that bundle now, so if you do like that one, you will have to be quick. Or you can give the call centre a ring, the number's just on the bottom of your screen. So we've had a message in from Judith. Morning, Judith. What would we like to see? Oh, the dragonfly bundle. Thinking about doing a patchwork cushion for your sister. Lovely, loves dragonflies. Let's have a look at this one then. Okay. Oh, that's nice. So this is your uh, dragonfly. Oh, this is another popular one this morning. Um, on that, you can just see actually on the selvage, you can see those different, the different blues that are included in this. So four different blues and also that cream in the uh, body of the dragonfly itself. But you get half a metre of that Japanese garden dragonfly. Then you've also got half a metre of a cream, picking out the detail on the dragonfly. Patchwork cushion, that's a nice idea, I like that. So you can see your cream there. I wonder what block you're going to think to use. I'm trying to think what might be nice for something white, like sort of wildlife, nature sort of feel to it. Maybe you're going to mix and match it with some other fabrics you've already got in your stash, or are you just going to combine these ones? Then you've also got a solid blue there as well. Not to sound like a stuck record because I don't like people to miss out. This one is also really popular. So if you've got this in your basket, you will need to check it out. GDGC88, we're actually limited on stock on that one now. So a metre and a half of fabric, the Japanese drag dragonfly, and your two solids as well. 12.45. Lovely. Gorgeous. So that's your Japanese dragonfly. I hope that helps, Judith. Send us a picture if you do make your patchwork cushion for your sister. <laughs> If you could do that now, if you could do that in the next sort of 15 minutes and send it in, that would be great. <laughs> with, that, with your imaginary fabric that hasn't arrived yet. Talking of deliveries, our postage and packaging is only 2 95 a day. So if you buy something perhaps in this hour and then you see something later on in the show that you want to buy or you realise you need, I don't know, wadding or a zip, um, you can add that to your basket later on in the day and the postage and packaging is added on at midnight. It's capped, um, you know, at midnight. So you will only pay that once. So... If you're thinking you like something now, but you might wait until later, and then I'm saying it's limited, you can buy that one now, add something later, and you won't miss out. So, let's have a look at the... Um, oh, producer Hannah now, it's because she was saying about the grey and yellow that she loved it. She's like, on a personal note, the grey and yellow has actually overtaken the blue and pink. So, I, I said that the blue and pink were in the lead, and now the, the yellow is overtaken. This is the, uh, the grey and yellow. So you had your lemon, your bright yellow, your heron grey, and your spot on and your crosshatch detail there on that grey as well. So that one's been really popular now. We've said it, um, XWGC44. Um, Hannah, producer Hannah is saying thank you because they're her favourite colours. She just wants to see them more on the screen. That's why. She's in control. <laughs> Fabulous. So that's your grey and yellow one. But I am going to go back and show you those other... Um, so let's have a look at the Wales one. This is the one where you're getting a wider fabric. So this is um, 150 centimetres. I'll open it out so you can see. So you are getting more fabric there. Half a metre um, of that Wales on grey. So this is the only one that's a bit wider. You're getting a bit more fabric, therefore, in that bundle. And 9.45 as well, so it's fantastic value. So you've got your Wales on grey. And then you've also got your two solids. But even, you know, if you keep the whales in your stash, um, keep the, I'm just imagining whales in a cupboard shut away somewhere. If you keep the whales um, in your stash and then you just use the two solids, for 9.45, you know, the price that you're paying just for those two solids is really good, even if you haven't got a project in mind for the whales at the moment. It's a really great value bundle. So you've also got a navy solid there and a powder blue. So again, a metre and a half of fabric in total, those two solids and your whales, MRGC 22. 9.45, that's a bargain. So 
So as I said, that is a slightly wider fabric. This one's called Wally the Whale. <laughs> look, let's have a look. Here it is, Wally the Whale. <laughs> what are you going to make with Wally the Whale? Lovely. I love some of the really creative names for fabric. It would be so easy to just call them, wouldn't it? Oh, you know, whales. Some of, some of them are more basic names, but I love when they're creative with them. So let's just move that one to the side. We haven't looked at our lobsters. Let's have a look back at this one. I like the lobsters. There it is. So this one here has got a nautical feel to it. It's got those um, ribbons and it's also got that rope intertwined, creating that really lovely shape. You've got anchors, you've got water splashes. You've obviously got the lobsters as it's called a lobster fabric um, that you can just see there, that lovely detail. Oh, I really, really like that fabric. And that's been paired with two solids. You've got an aqua and a coral, half a metre of each of those. But this lovely detail in this, just with, I don't know if you can see here, um, sort of lovely little shells and you've got those anchors there. It's got a nice curve to it and that weave as well. And you could even fussy cut and take a small section of this if you wanted to, you know, perhaps use it for, um, for a pocket or just for a bit of detail. It'd be lovely to follow this with some embroidery detail as well. If perhaps you're a bit of a, a bit of a whiz with free, free motion embroidery. NAGC77, that's the lobster bundle. So you've got half a metre of each of those and half a metre of your lobsters as well. Okay. So our most popular bundles are, oh, it is the two free frees. We're back to that. Which colour though, Hannah? Is it, our, is it our lovely, the one that I like the most? Yes, it's winning. I don't mean to get to show you it first. <laughs> so. And we've got lots of, lots of fabrics really popular this morning, but the two different free frees these are in a lawn, sort of a cotton lawn. Um, so these have got a lighter feel to them. They are more lightweight. They are softer. Um, they're, you know, they're perfect for, perhaps if you want a bit more drape uh, to, to a lightweight for, for, even for clothing. Obviously this is a half meter cut, so it is a slightly smaller cut if you're dressmaking. If you wanted some detail on it and perhaps a project. But this is your um, free through on port. The most popular one this morning. And that's been paired with a burgundy solid and a warm cream solid. I could cover this whole table in fabric this morning. I've got lots of options for you. TTGC80. You can just see there those two solids from Makawa. Again, those are 100% cotton. 1645. Or you've got the option for that in a purple bundle. I'm going to just move that one down. Haven't got long enough arms. Then you've got um, the purple free through. Again, this is a lawn. Like that department store fabric we keep suggesting. So you can just see there that's got a slightly deeper colour palette. You've got some violets and indigos coming through in this. Also a teal in some of the detail in the flower itself. But really lovely, sort of soft, uh, whimsical little flowers in this one. And, and a slightly vintagey feel to it as well. Teamed with an accru solid. That's it. And also a bright purple solid as well. There you go. JWGC99. I just want to show you that is a really lovely sort of soft, lightweight cotton there, that lawn. It does have a very different feel to it. Sixteen forty-five. So the cats are still really popular as well this morning. That cat outline, we are just going to do a stock warning on that. I'll show you it quickly so you can just see. So we can get the uh, the number one, a cat warning, cat alarm. So you've got the uh, the grey, the cats on grey, the yellow cats. Cats are always so popular. Cats and dogs are always really, really popular on the show. So you've got that yellow outline on a grey background, also teamed with a spot on grey. 
and a bright yellow, a nice warm yellow, solid. Oh, only five of these left now. GXGC00, if you do like this one, please do check it out. 11.45. Again, these are 100% cotton. People loving the cats this morning? They always do, always do. Also, the dragonflies. I know we've just seen this, but this one is really popular. So if you do, just check out your baskets if this is the one you like. I'll just show you the dragonflies rather than um, the solids. But this is um, this one here is on a really lovely, a sort of a, a sky blue, a, a nice sort of dark sky blue background there with your cream detail in the dragonflies themselves. And also some softer blues and greys as well coming through in that. And your navies. Lots of people with that in their basket and people multi-buying as well. So you will need to check that out. GDGC88, that's your Japanese dragonfly, again with two solids. But I just wanted to show you those other ones we've not shown very much. The elephants. A couple of people wanting to see those. Can't reach. <laughs> so this is a lovely um, natural colour bundle here with that elephants on. I would, this is a really, this is a... Um, what colour would be, what colour would you call this background? I don't, biscuit, maybe like a biscuity, biscuity colour. <laughs> Producer Hannah's saying the bottom of the cheesecake, that's the colour of the, that's the colour of the fabric. Bottom of the cheesecake uh, fabric. So this is your um, elephant on biscuit, but you've got that nice slate grey, that classic sort of elephant colour, you know, that's synonymous obviously with elephants, but on that natural background. And teamed with two, uh, a grey, a solid grey, and your spot on as well. Lovely. I love the elephant fabric. I've not seen that one before. Has that not been on very much? I don't think it can have been because I've not seen it. Only once or twice that one's been on. BYGC77, that's your grey elephant. Teamed with your um, solid grey and your spot on grey as well. Lots of people as well maybe collect little elephant trinkets or things on their travels. That's the sort of thing that maybe you get when you go away. So if you want to create a little something, a little memento maybe of a trip away to, to Thailand or somewhere like that, maybe a present for someone when they get back. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Pick someone up from the airport, have a nice little new present made for them out of elephant fabric. <laughs> so that's your elephant, BYGC77. Let's fold this one up. Then we also had, this is our cloud nine fabric this morning. Are these hydrangeas? I'm not sure. We need to, I need to expand my flower knowledge. Will someone let me know? Is this a hydrangea? So this is, um, again, on, you've got that nice, uh, sort of, not quite a navy. It's a, a deep blue background there with that cream detail. And then you also got a solid blue and white, teamed with those. Again, 100% cotton, a very fresh bundle, actually. Nice, fresh floral, IJGC00. And that's 12.45 for that bundle. Gorgeous. Let's move that. Oh, someone wants to see this mixed with the which bundle? Oh, mixed with the pink. Absolutely, we'll show you that. So that's your cloud nine. And if you wanted to team that perhaps for a larger project and um, with some other solids, we've got this pink bundle here. So this pink solids bundle comes with three pink solids and two pink and purple. And you've got that on the bottom of your screens there, but you've got two linear look uh, fabrics with that cross hatch detail. Let's look at that with the blue. The white works, I don't, mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I would put those blues together, actually. I might look at it with the blue bundle, though. I don't think I would put those together. I think that's maybe a bit clashy. But let's look at it with the blue, see if it's any better with that. Trying to keep those fabrics together. Let's grab the blue. Let's see if this one's any better. Oh, this is better. There's our blues. 
Can we see that? I'm trying to keep it tidy. So you've got that Cloud9 fabric there with that um, flower detail. And then the blue bundle, some of those solids would work really beautifully. The cream cross-hatch detail, a uh, linear look one, would look really lovely from that blue solid. If you can just see that one there. But you've got that whole blue set there as well. If you went for those blues, you've got, you know, because you'd have that dark blue as well, teamed with all of those. But the blue definitely works, I would say, um, sort of the colours work better than the pink there. But that blue solid bundle, I will just show you. So you've got a blue spot on, you've got a crosshatch detail on the cream, then you've got a cornflower blue, you've got the Riviera blue crosshatch detail, and you've also got that pearl blue. So that's the blue solid bundle. Blue, 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 lots of blues. And so two and a half metres of fabric, half a metre of all of those. So um, you can just see that one there. That's popping up on your screens now. There's your spotty one. LVGC 88. And that's 20.95. So the most popular fabric in this hour, which one is it, Hannah? Producer Hannah, which one are we? Is it the cats? It is our cats. So it's that gray out, that yellow outline on gray. Um, and then you've also got that teamed with the sunshine yellow and the spot on gray. But also the other really popular one was that dragonfly fabric. So that was on a, a lovely sort of midnight blue. Only three left of the cat bundle now, GXGC00. And that's 11.45. So if that's in your basket, please do check that one out. And we also have the dragonfly bundle. I'll just show you the dragonfly. This is second in place. So your dragonflies there and teams with two solids if you do like the look of that one. So it's just coming, that one, if you do like the look of that one. Coming up in the next hour, Jess is back. We're doing a laptop case. So perfect if you're going on your travels and you want to take a bag with you. So don't go anywhere. We will see you in three minutes. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK based call centre. Alternatively there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Join us this Friday when Lucy Brennan will be creating a stunning star quilt. Lucy will show us her take on a friendship star block, talking you through her technique step by step. She'll create this block in two stunning colour options so you can choose between punchy brights or calming pastel tones. Whichever palette you pick, this versatile quilt will look at home in both children's and adults' rooms alike with its light and fresh feel. So don't miss Lucy's Quilting Masterclass this Friday at 9am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com.
do some nice little bags this morning. So we're making this laptop case in this hour with Jess. And this is a brand new fabric that we've never had on the show before. We were all fawning over this in the office this morning. Perfect for September, back to school, getting back into the, in, you know, back into the swing of things. So we're making this laptop case this morning. It's a lovely soft padded one, so perfect for protecting, you know, if you've got your laptop or a tablet or something inside. But also we were saying that this would be a perfect bag if you wanted to take projects on the go, whether that's sewing projects or sheet music, if you wanted to take that to a music class or lots of different options. But a really cool case that um, with some quilting on that as well. So Jess is going to show you how we do that in this hour this morning. So the pattern for this is actually from one of our sister magazines. Sewing Quarter um, is part of the immediate media family and we have some magazines that are part of that as well. So Simply Sewing is one of those. And in this bundle this morning, you're getting a free copy of Simply Sewing. So you've got all of your instructions in there um, of, you know, for how to, to make the laptop case, but lots of other projects as well, not just that. Lots of our designers on the show actually contribute to these magazines but you get lots of different projects in here, lots of inspiration, lots of design tips. You get templates as well. There it is, there's the laptop case. So all of the instructions you can see there, really thorough instructions as well. So you've got lots of different projects. There we are. <laughs> so loads of inspiration for dressmaking as well. So not only do you get the magazine, but you also get a free pattern with the magazine for a dress. So you can just see that one here. So the dress is for sizes 16 to 20, and this is the lily dress. So you can just see that on the front there. That pattern comes with the magazine. So you get that for free within the bundle. So we've got three bundles this morning for this laptop case that come with a metre and a half of fabric and your thread. So that laptop case you can see there that I, that's already made up, this is the black uh, pencil fabric. This is brand new. We've never had this on the show before. So this is a premiere this morning. You get half a metre of that and then you get a metre of your solid black fabric as well. So you can use that for the lining. And then you've also got a black thread as well, ERGC88. Everything you're getting for that price, 11.45. That's great value this morning. So you've got that magazine included in that with all of your instructions and templates and all of your fabric and thread too. Fantastic value. So that's the first option. There's also a cream colorway. So they've got the uh, pencil fabric in cream. This is lovely. Let me just show you that. So you get half a meter of your pencils on cream and then you also get a, a meter of a solid cream fabric that you could use for the lining. So this is black on ivory, XXGC07. Again, everything you're getting for that price, 11.45. This is going to be popular this morning because this is fantastic value. You're getting that magazine completely free within your bundle, as well as all of your fabric and your thread. Because it's our sister magazine, we can do that for you this morning. And then also, if you wanted to go for a brighter option, when Jess saw this this morning, she loved the idea of this. She was like, why is get some this one so this is your um pencils on black but we've teamed it with a really bright magenta pink so if you want to have something a bit more bright and bold and vivid on the inside of that laptop case then you get a meter of your pink uh, magenta and then you've got half a meter of your um ivory on black that pencil fabric there which is brand new this morning and that's teamed again with a black thread and your free magazine kkgc02 1145 so let's grab this laptop case and head back to Jess. Here we are. Hello. How was your little? Did you get? A, did you get a slice of Tasha's birthday no, cake? No, I'm going to save that for afterwards. Okay. I hope there's one left. You're being good. I am. I'm I know. being very good. I, I was going to have it this morning, and I thought, no, wait till we finish. Something, Ooh. something at the end. I'm fighting if, for it. <laughs> if there's any left, if there's any there. So this laptop case. Tell me yes. a bit about this. Um, this is is a I just I just love this fabric. I just think it's really really pretty. It's got a nice sort of weight to it as well. It's got a slightly thicker. Yes, it so is. So it feels slightly canvassy, um, which is actually really nice. Really nice to work with as well. And it's just I just love when you sew a fabric and you actually look at the print a lot. And I've been doing that an awful lot. And there's so many things you could do with this. I was thinking you can make bookmarks. You can make little yes. sort of pencil cases. Pencil cases. Yeah, would be lovely for really, school, back exactly. To school. Really really nice. So no, I just think it's really really pretty. So the case itself. Even a notebook cover, actually. A notebook cover would be great, yeah. With a matching be, pencil case. Yeah, you could even sort of, if you've got stamps or something, or you could sort of write your name on or something yeah, like that. Yeah, on those plain pencils. Yeah, that'd be really, great really idea. nice. Really nice. Um, so, the case. 
Um, we've got in the bundle, we've got a metre of the lining fabric yeah. because you need a metre and you do get stuff left over because it depends on the size of your laptop, obviously. Yeah, of course. Um, and you actually use four pieces of that because you quilt it, quilt it, um, the main bit, and then you add your lining as well. So that's why you get a metre of it as well. So you've got a bit, for your yeah. honey, a bit left over. Yeah, if you think about it, there's, so there's four pieces of lining fabric for this particular laptop case. This is my laptop and it's a little bit bigger than most of the sort of modern ones, I think. So, and there were had loads left over. So you do actually have quite a lot left over. And you Maybe don't, for a pencil case. Yeah, Good and you don't even that. have to sort of quilt it with the lining. You could actually use something really like a bit old sheet or something and save your lovely sort of solid just for the lining and um, use something else. Use something else for the actual back of the actual quilt. Yes. So this was from Simply Sewing magazine. Yes. If you don't know, Jess does loads for Simply Sewing, don't I do, you? Let me I grab do. one. You do. Um, you were telling me this morning about the denim features that you. Yeah, do. I do the denim in there, um, and I'm currently this doing the story. Re Rebecca did the story for this one, and she um, did this um, laptop case as well. So let's find the laptop case. I think it was near the beginning, wasn't it? Yeah, it's one of the main do, ones. Do, do, do. There we go with this gorgeous print. I, I know oh, she was on lovely. her ages ago with this print. It's gorgeous. Here it is. Also, also, what's lovely is there's some other project ideas. If you have got a little bit of fabric yeah. left over, that you could match in with that sort of stationary thing. Oh, yes, so there you we can go. See yeah, like that. So that, there's a pencil case option there. Um, also, you've got like a slogan key strap. That's really quirky and cool. The elastic pencil case. Yeah, that's a really nice idea because you could just do like the long bits here, just have a couple of pencils. That'd be really just pretty. For, yeah, in that well, fabric. Especially did it in the magenta and with as well. pens as well. Yeah. Yes. It's so it's on the ironic the theme. statement. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the um, spool fabric, isn't it, for, you know, for yeah. uh, something for your sewing room. But, so yeah, you've got a phone wallet as well and a lots of different uh, cases but here we are with the uh, laptop case so all of your measurements all of your cutting yep. instructions the quilting everything you need to know all of your instructions and assembly all sort of um really clearly explained with pictures as well if you're visual it's so helpful isn't it to have oh, yeah you know those pictures because you you sometimes you read something and you're not too sure but when you actually see you know you see lo loads of sort of tutorials and instructions with an image you go oh that makes penny sense drops. yeah the penny drops and also when you're looking at it, you think oh i can do that as opposed yeah. to you're not too sure so this is why it really works in this magazine so just lots of other projects in this magazine as well so all of the bundles this morning come with the magazine included for free and you get that dress pattern too all of your um You've got all of your templates, everything, mm. everything in there. But so many in, sort of inspirational projects. If you've not had the magazine before, it's a good way to sort of try it and see if it's something that you might you might like. But so there's a phone wallet there, a shopping bag. That's yeah, really good because it tucks inside the pocket. It's a really nice design. I, I was the, oh yes yeah. When Rebecca was telling me about it, I thought I love that. Who's also here at Sewing Quarter? Yeah, we see nearly all the Simply Sewing people. So we've got a bundle warning as well. What one was that on? Oh, notebook cover. I didn't even know that was in there. Oh, there you are. Then you see. <laughs> um, so the bundles are obviously are really going quickly this morning because they're really great value. Oh, what's lots of things being put into baskets so please do check it out if you are planning to buy that one this morning and um, it's not guaranteed until you've checked out your order so ERGC88 is for um this for the for the black with black which is the case that we've got here and the one on the bottom of your screen is the black uh, with the pink lining as well so um it depends which one you which one you like the look of but if it's in your basket due to hannah's saying please do check it out because we don't want you to miss out this morning we thought this was going to go quick yeah i mean it's it, especially bearing in mind you're thinking it's it's mid-august kids are going back to school in three weeks yeah mine are um and it's enough time to make them something especially if you're if you're if you're if, if if you have a child in your shelves but they've got their first laptop or something yeah. like they're going starting secondary school it's a really nice quirky thing i love this for art materials as well yes i think it's a really nice little storage bag especially with the handle because you don't have to have a handle but if you do, if you want it just put loads of stuff in there and just carry it around you said as well earlier this morning that you could even put um sort of a stabilizer in there if you wanted yeah. to and you could have it if you wanted to protect paper yeah exactly like sheet music or you know or just general well, files and you're saying out of pockets if you wanted to put a pocket in there yeah it, it's just a really adaptable pattern so you could use that iron on um, visoline Yes, to make it easily <laughs> the, the debate continues. <laughs> what, who knows? Um, you know, so if you uh, have we got that here, let's have a look. No, that's interfacing. Interfacing. I don't know if we've got the um, Vaseline there one. There we are. Here. Uh, that's the, the, the white one. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, here. Here it is. I'm looking right at it because it didn't have a, a label on it. Um, so, yeah, if you wanted to add that sort of iron on fusible, you've got that fleecing there as well that we used this morning as well for the wall hanging. So, in fact, a meter. If you yeah, want these, there's enough for both of those yeah, projects. Yeah, you think it. Yeah, exactly. Because this is yeah, because you, it depends on the size of your laptop. Obviously, this is a full size. But yes, if you do it for a tablet, which I'm using one, which fits a sort of a slightly larger iPad um, for the next project. But um, yeah, you can easily. Also, makes it it 
it means you're not sort of having to worry about quilting materials moving around. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's that's lovely. So let's get going with this then. Okay, cool. Now, I love that it's got handles. My laptop case doesn't have handles at the moment. And if I'm going somewhere and I have to walk, and that sounds really silly, but no, you have I to sort of hold mean. on to it and yeah. I don't want to drop it. Whereas if you've got handles, it's, you know, yeah, it's, it's much just, easier. Yeah, it's uh, much, absolutely much easier. Much easier. You can also make them longer handles so they actually hang over if you wanted yeah. to, however you want to do it. So this one, first oh, of all... Oh, we're sorry to interrupt you. We've got a stock warning. What was that one on? This one here, so the black with the black lining and the black pencils. If everyone checks out their baskets on that, we have only got, oh, over 20 people are going to not, not manage to get it. So if you do want that one, please do check out your baskets really, really quickly. There is still the option to get that with the pink lining. Um, it's obviously because it's great value that's going really quickly this morning. Sorry to interrupt that's you. That's okay, that's Next okay. Go. So um, this is tailored, you tailor it to actually fit your own laptop because um, otherwise it's not going to fit. So what you need to do is you get a tape measure and your laptop. Let me just grab my tape measure, which I've put down and have subsequently lost. This one here. Cool, I was going to grab one as well. So can we just use your little iPad? Is of that course. Okay. So the bundle that um, Jess is using as well, we've got two other options this morning. You've got that um, cream bundle, so you can just see uh, on the edge of the table here, it's the same uh, pencil fabric, but on a cream background with black pencil detail on it. And that's teamed with a solid cream as well. So that's the black on ivory, XXGC07. Again, it comes with that free magazine uh, and all of your thread and everything you need to, to make the uh, laptop case. So there's that option, um, which if I just grab the fabric there, sorry Jess, that's all right. to show it, because that other one's, People don't want people to miss there out. Go, there it is. That's the um, cream. You can just see there, that's the patterned fabric. And then that's paired with a solid cream as well. So at the moment, we've got the most stock of that ivory version, if you like that one. And then you've also got the black pencils that you can see that Jess has used here, but the lining is in a really bright magenta pink, which this morning you were like, oh, yes, like that one. Yeah. Like, look at that bright pink one. And um, so if you do like that one with a slightly different uh, lining, we do just uh, have that as an option as well. So you can see that one there, KKGC02. Lots of people, again, with that in their baskets, more than we've got available. So that is going to sell out I'm, um, if that is the one you want. KKGC02. We will get started, sorry, just giving you a stock warning on those, so if you do want them, you can add those to your basket. That one looks like it's gonna sell out any minute now, so. Okay, we will get cracking with how we actually right. do the making. Okay, so, first of all, you measure your laptop. Um, we've actually used centimeters here, inches, whatever you want to do, so you're just taking measurements. So you close it up, wrap around one way. Width, I think. Okay, width. yep. Make I'll a note, that's 50. And mark that down, um, and then you do it this way, which is so you're wrapping a present around 36. You. So you make those two measurements, make a note of them, divide them each by two, and add six centimeters, and that gives you enough sort of seam allowance and give. Okay. So once you've actually got those measurements, I'll give that to you so you okay. can open it up. If you, you then, oh sorry, sorry let's swap you. That's okay. As well, if you have missed out on that black one, there is still lots of stock of the ivory, so there is an option there. And we're trying to see if we can get another another option for you, um, if that because that other one has sold out. So if you do, if you we, producer Hannah, keep watching. She's going to try and find a way of getting some more pencil fabric for you if you do like that one. Okay. I like this one as well because you've actually got sort of the white you can actually write on as well if you want to do little square line, little cars. You can add. A little. I know it's just <laughs> little things that go through your head when you're designing. So anyway, this is um, I've made this to fit a sort of an apple iPad-y sort of little yeah. one. So it's slightly smaller than this. So what you actually do is it says the instructions in the magazine tell you to cut out um, your case cover, your, your case front, yeah. the same size um, for your lining and your backing here. So you'd end up with two pieces of your lovely print and four pieces if you're using the same material for your quilting back as well as your lining for, yeah. for these. If you're going to use, if you want to save on your lovely solid, you'd only cut two out for the lining and you'd cut two for your you said whatever you're going to quilt. Yeah, old cheap is what I've used yeah. before. Now, what you, in the actual magazine, it says to cut them the same and also some wadding as well. We've actually used our craft wadding here, so that with, with the craft wadding we do sell. But as you say, you could also use the iron on zizzling. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to That's going to be a thing now, isn't it? Is it um, so <laughs> what I've done is because um, with quilting, you tend to, if you can, use a walking foot if you're doing machine quilting. Um, if you use a walking foot, then you'd cut your 
quilt sort of backing and your wadding to the same size as your quilt cover because it won't shift. Mm. But walking for it's not necessarily the cheapest no, option. No, if you don't have one. If you don't have one, um, I've got one, but I thought it's easy to do it on an ordinary foot. So if you're going to do it with that because it will shift, because the fabric underneath will actually shift, cut your wadding slightly larger and your sort of backing material slightly larger just so you can quilt. Um, what I've decided to do is I've decided to quilt lines going horizontally. Yes. Um, and I have used there are various different ways you could do it freehand if you wanted to do. You could do um, use a pen mark, or you could actually um, use um, tape. Yep. Follow the tape line, or you could use the lovely Hero marker to make some indentations. Yeah, which is so much easier. I'll just show it's so easy. I mean, and and once you stitch in that ditch, as it were, yep. your own version of the ditch, it vanish. And of course, got nice straight lines. So I'm just going to do one a bit inch up there, just so you can see. I'll just move that out of the way. Just so if you've see. not seen one of these before, it's about sort of making. It's almost like making a pen mark or it's a line. So, yeah, you could but use it's it. It's just an indentation. Yeah, you can use it in fabric. You can use it to make cards. If you've got a piece of card, and you just draw a line, and it makes the fold rather yep. than just creasing the fingers. It crisp and it's a really nice piece of craft kit. I love mine. So it's not expensive either, actually. No. It's you know. It's no, it's not much at all, and it's just it's got a nice weight to it as well as so really ergonomic, I suppose. Anyway, it's nicely. Yeah. It's nicely. So um, I'm just following the line. I've already put one there because I've started by drawing a line in the middle, and then yeah. worked out like with two two inches. So I'm Where you're going? One, yeah. So I'll just draw a line like here, just so you can see. Line it up, and you just press. Let's just put it on there. And you'll hear a marker to press it down, and you just go along like that and just score it. Obviously, I mean this is this is like. A, sort of nice solid material if you've got a really fine material which is going like like a silk or yeah you wouldn't yeah. necessarily do it on that because no. that's gonna you know sensible but you get quite a clear indentation quite a clear you've line. Got the wadding as well yeah. so you you know you've got that and i think if, if people are wondering whether you can use that on 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 black weather or shirt it really does it just shows up sort of creating a crease so you and you could really do see. any design you wanted to if you want if you wanted to remove someone's name yeah you could go curvy you go curvy you could use i mean we're using um a, a um Thread which matches, so we're using cream on cream and use black on there. If you wanted to use a different colour, you could um, do someone's name or something. Or That's you could even, cool. Yeah, we could even use this if you wanted to, to actually draw, write a, write a name in there, just do a curly name, you know, Mark or <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Daniel. <laughs> Jay. What were the names you said this morning that are coming back in? Maisie. Um, no, there's another one. Edith. 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 Edith bag. <laughs> That'd be lovely. Anyway, so I will just um, quilt. So as you say, I'm using an ordinary foot. I'm going to start there, and you'll see that you get sort of fabric creep. When we get to the end, we'll just cut off the excess to make a nice square. So I'll okay, lovely. Crack on with that very, very quickly. So while you just before you start stitching, one second. Have we got some? Oh. Yes, we've got some fabric by the half metre. So the pencil fabric, we've sold out of those bundles. But if you do want to buy the fabric by the half metre, we've managed to get some. So I'm just going to quickly show that now. Shall I carry on stitching? Are you just going? No, yeah, just, let's just pause. I'll come back okay, to you cool. in, in two minutes. OK. <laughs> no <laughs> worries. I'm not going anywhere. So um, if you have missed out on those um, on those fabrics this morning, producer Hannah has managed to get some solids that you can, um, the fabric off the bolt that you can have of this fabric as well. So you can buy this by the half metre. We've sold out of those Premier um, bundles this morning in these two fabrics, but if you want to buy it and combine it with your own solid, then you can. So um, we've got the uh, pencils on ivory. This is because of the timing, I think, of this fabric. You know, coming into September, Look at that price, 355 for half metre. That's oh, amazing value. So if you want more than a metre and a half of this, we'd advise you to ring the call centre 0800 112 4433. This is brand new today. We've never had it on the show before, so we've launched it. It's been really popular this morning in those bundles. We're breaking the rules a bit. We weren't really meant to bring this on today by the half metre, but you've bought all of our bundles. You've been super quick. Lots of eager beavers this morning. So we've got some special permission to show this in this hour this morning. So you can get it off the bolt if you want a bit more of this fabric. So by the half meter, you've got it on your ivory there with that detail in the black, great price, 355. And also, you know, you've got the option there to team it with a different solid if you've got something in your stash, or if you want to go, you know, for those monochrome colors and you keep it with your blacks and creams. So that's it on ivory, but we've also got it on the black, which is what's been really popular this morning. Here it is. So you've got details on those pencils as well with your stripes and spots. Really, really popular this morning. MGJQ18. The lovely thing about this, Jess had an amazing idea this morning, is that you could colour this in if you wanted to. 
We'll look at that later, but if you wanted to add some colour to it, you could, you know, you could add a splash of colour in those pens, a bit like the uh, colouring fabric that we have from Michael Miller. But those two fabrics are brand new this morning. As I said, producer Hannah's been a bit sneaky and managed to get some permission to sneak those in as we've sold out of the bundle. So congratulations if you managed to get those. 3.55 for half metre, amazing value. Please do um, check out your baskets on those if you do like them. Now, um, before we go back, the... Um, the magazine, so the main graphic at the moment is for the black background fabric, MGJQ18. The bottom one is for the ivory background, that cream one. We're going to keep those there. So if those are the fabrics that you want to buy, that's going really, really fast this morning. Um, if you do like those, then the black one is the one on the main graphic on the side of your screen. The ivory is on the bottom of your screen. And again, if you want more than half a metre, we'd advise you to ring the call centre. We'll keep you updated on stock. But that is... I, that's going crazy. The phones are going crazy this morning for that. But let's crack on with what we're actually doing, which is the laptop case. Now we can oh, breathe out and do the actual making because it's all so popular. OK, so we got to the quilting stage. We have. What I love about that one is you could actually if you could do um, cushions for a kid's bedroom and have like massive bright pink pom-pom trim or something around yes, the outside. Yes, in lovely. the ivory. I love that in the ivory. Oh, that would nice. be lovely. With big sort of either on the corners or all the way around, the pom-poms yeah. would look... Now, traditionally, when you're doing this sort of, because we're doing this quickly on air, you do it slowly and steadily and all that sort of stuff. But I'll just show you what happens. Stitching in the ditch. Stitching in the ditch. I'll just show you what happens when you um, do a pair of scissors. You can see it start, starts to shift a bit. So that's not actually the same point, but it's finished a little bit further along. Yeah. So it, it, will, it will shift them, which is why I've cut a little bit wider. Did you start just outside of that main outer fabric? Yeah, just your, Yeah. Yeah, we just sort of either... You can either start just outside. It doesn't really matter because you're going to cover it anyway. Okay. And you're not going to pull it. It's not like the, um, the lovely pouches we did the earlier. The wall hanging. Yeah, the wall hanging. So I'll just do this very quickly. We can get this one done. But yeah, when you were talking about the colouring in, love that as an idea. Isn't that like, brilliant? I don't know if we've got the... Um, yeah, we should have some. Let's have a look at those pens. If you've not seen this before, these are, we've got some little leftover bits of fabric that you would have from that bundle if you managed to get one this morning. Well done you, super speedy on the phone. Um, but that you can you could colour this fabric in if you wanted to. So particularly, obviously, it's sort of doubly appropriate because it's pens anyway, isn't yeah. it? And sort of crayons. But um, we have these textile markers that, that you always really love on the show because you can use these for if you want to just write the names, perhaps in school uniform or to mark up fabric. But also for colouring um, your textiles and your fabrics, you can use this, you can set it, and then you can wash the... Wash the um, fabric and that colour will set, you know, it's not going anywhere, you can permanently mark the fabric. So with this um, pack you get 20 different colours and the lovely thing is you've got a sort of a dual nib, so you get a thicker end and a thinner nib as well, so for finer detail. But you can colour straight onto this fabric if you wanted to. So let's have a look at this stripy one. I haven't seen these yet in these, action. Um, oh, I love my colouring. Hey. If I get a colouring show I'm like, happy days. Let's find, um, so you can just add this colour straight onto the... Look at that. Love that. It's cool, isn't it? Really relaxing as well. So you could get children, you know, perhaps if you made a pencil case, then they could colour their own, or they could colour the fabric first, and you then make you place could... mats with it, and then they yes. colour it in. Yeah. There's, there's loads and loads of options that you could, you know, you could start to apply the colour. You've got your yellow. Oh, that yellow is glorious. The bright ones work really well. I don't know what this pink will be like. That would look really nice with the... Uh, I know it's sold out now, but with a, with a really bright solid. Yes, with that pink. But you can still get solids, you know, on the website if you wanted to buy those individually um, by the half metre. But you can, as well, you don't have to colour all of these. You could just have one sort of brightly coloured pencil or... I just think you've got... You're going to write your name on the, um, the solid white? I tell you what, do yeah, you, you want to. <laughs> just go for like a swirly. But look, how, look, this is really cool. That's really, oh, that's really pretty. I love, I love the different colours as well. With a lot of sort of fabric sort of pens you see, they tend to have really basic colours, but they've got some different interesting shades there. You've got 20, 20 different ones in there. And this stays in as well when you wash it. So, you know, once you put that colour on there, it isn't going anywhere. But children would have loads of fun doing that. It's a summer holiday project. Yeah. You could write your name on it. So I could write my name on here. Oh, testing me now. You're now owning that fabric, aren't you? Because you put your I name am. on it. Oh, oh. 
and you could oh. do it. You could draw a little heart. Obviously, you could do whatever you wanted to do. But look, you could just customize the fabric. So you can, you know, it's just, and a way again of adding another dimension to that fabric if you wanted to. You've got your, um, you know, you can, if you wanted to colour in your stripes, your stripes or your spots, um, or, or write your name on them, then you can do. But that's your textile marker. So again, just if you want to add another dimension, it's another way of, another step of customising, isn't it? Yeah. That's the thing about buying fabric. You're, you, you can follow a project letter for letter, or you can make it your own, as they say. That's what it's all about. On certain TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> What so you're quilting. I am. What I forgot to say at the beginning, because um, I was looking at the time thinking, let's try and get this done, is when you actually, to make your quilt sandwich, you have your backing, you have your um, wadding, and you have your front, and then you need to baste it. Which, yes. uh, in this case, you can see, I'll see it in better. You see, I've actually just, um, uh, with the contrasting fabric, so I can see it, easy to take them out, I've just used a plain sort of cotton, I used the versa that one yes. and vice versa with this one. Um, I've just used that so you can actually see. Um, you can actually use basting spray. I know that we do sell yeah, basting spray, spray as well. Yeah, if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, if you wanted to, just use that obviously in a room. So it's um, just to keep it in place. Yes, yeah, so it's just to keep it in place as a temporary measure. So you do, it's, you know, you, it's, otherwise it will be um, tricky to actually quilt without. Are these quilting, quilting lines or um, the measurements sort of in the book? Are you no, no. You no, it's it's whatever you want to do in the mag. So you could do whatever you like. Yeah, I know that um, the one in the mag um, has quilted um, horizontally. Yes, it's very early in the morning to be awake. <laughs> um, so you can do whatever you want. So you could just freestyle them. Yeah. So that is quilted along there. You can see obviously that much, but it's just shifted. A tiny bit at the back. You can probably see a little bit. Yeah, with you the can see a there. slight difference in the thickness yeah. of the edge there. So you can just see it's a little bit, which is why it's that's why I prefer to do it that way. Mm. So I'll just now trim these bits off, and then I will put a little um, zigzag round the edge just to hold it before, as we did in the pouch show earlier. Okay. So I'll just use those, cut those off with my little. Um, so that fabric in the black background, that one's actually sold out now. So even though we weren't meant to have it on the show and we've bought, <laughs> bought some stock in, that one's also sold out. But we have still got it on the ivory, which is what Jess is working with. WNJQ82 is that pencils on ivory. This is definitely a timing thing. I think with September around the corner and back yeah. to school, then it is a perfect fabric for that. Absolutely. I've got to stop saying absolutely. Um, it is. I just, I was thinking my kids would actually like this one, has to be said, especially the idea of colouring, colouring in. in. Yeah. I was thinking we could do placemats, as you said, anything like that, it would go down really, really well. Anything they can customise, really. Yeah, anything they can customise. Also, because it's got a nice sort of weight to it, you could actually use it for sort of curtains or yeah. blinds or something. Yeah, it's a slightly thicker fabric, actually, isn't it? It's got yeah. more, almost like a bit of a canvassy um, Yeah, it has, it's got a little canvassy feel to it. Yeah, a bit more body. That way, actually. Always cut away. Just do it very, very quickly. So it actually was easier to have it slightly larger and then cut rather yeah. than with that shift, then you've sort of created a, a problem, haven't you, if you yeah. haven't got a walking foot? Yeah. If in doubt, test first. Yes. I mean, it is a lovely, this is a fun sewing project to do in an afternoon or even a, a fun one to take Is an this afternoon. a beginner project, would you say? Yeah, I think so. It's, it's not, I mean, the instructions are really, are really clear. It's also got things if you're not too sure, as in sort of how to add a zip on a curve, you know, you're mm. not too sure how to do that. It's a really nice sort of feel for that. But I'll just quickly um, zigzag around the edges just to um, finish, just to close it a bit, just to hold the sandwich. So you're going to do this twice, basically. So you're create, creating both sides of the bag. Yeah, and I've done the second one already. So that's all good to go. It's got a lovely feel to it. It really has. Lovely. It's, you know, it's more weighty than if it wasn't, you know, the wadding yeah. really does give it a very different feel. And the quilting as well. It's got a nice sort of thickness to it. So quickly round the edge, and then we'll remove the basting stitches. How are we doing for time? Am I? Um, you're fine. You've got, you've got sort of 25 minutes? 20 really? Minutes? Yeah. It goes so quickly. <laughs> it is amazing. I mean, I, I didn't help this morning that the fabric all sold out really quick, so I had to keep no, interrupting but, you. But it's, it's just such lovely fabric. Um, and I love it with the fabric pens. I think that's really, really nice. It's just a bit quirky, isn't it? Yeah, I think it makes well. it quirky. Let's just put that back in there. It doesn't really matter. It's just a zigzag. I think with those pens, it's a sort of thing. Once you have them, you probably see even more, you know, more and more fabrics where you could add that's your enough. own, yeah. you know, your own colour if you wanted to. There are lots of monochrome fabrics. Well, let's face it, you had loads of, um, of sort of fabric combos as well in the last hour, didn't you? Yeah. So you can, you can adapt the project 
I don't know. I know that we've, we've sold out of the bundles now, haven't we? Uh, what, of this bundle in this yeah. set? Yeah, these ones we have. Yeah, because I'm don't. i not sure. I, I guess the magazine is still online. I don't know. Yes, buy. you can still. You can get um, previous issues of the magazine. Oh, they were then. I think producer Hannah can show you how to do that on the screen in a moment. But you can, yeah, you can go back and get um, old issues if you want to buy them. Because this is issue... Oh, 29. And we're on 30. Well, you said you're working on 35 I'm at the moment. I'm working on 35 so. at the moment. Um, Are they top secret, the projects? Not necessarily. I mean, the one which is out at the moment, which is issue 33, is I love that one. That's a vintage fabric. Go and have a look at that one, because that's just <laughs> gorgeous. I love that fabric. I was thinking of making a top with it, but of course, you don't keep enough of it for yourself. No, right. you've got to use it for projects. Exactly. So then we have one front and da da da, zip by magic. So we've sandwiched it together, we've sandwiched quilted it together, and we've it. Um, zigzagged around the edge. Zigzag around the edge. And then you just remove your basting stitches. So I will quickly uh, remove those, so just pull them out. And then we need to add our zip. Now, what it says in the instructions is you, um, your zip should start about half away, half away um, around here and go all the way around. But I, as you can see, I used a 50, that's a 56 inch zip, which is just sort of standard, the longest sort of, you can get longer, but that's just yeah. sort of standard from haberdashery. And it works absolutely fine. 56 centimetres. 56 centimetres, yeah. 20 something inches. inches. 24, okay. I'm not sure. So rather than going too far down. Yeah, side. but it, as you can see, it works just as well. What I'm doing with this one is I'm using a 51. So it, it depends on your personal preference. I mean, you, you can get really long zips or you can get, um, don't need to spend as much money on a zip if you've got an old one in stock or something. I mean, you could even, if, you, if you've got an old dress you're not using anymore. Take the zip out. Use the fabric, take the zip out. I mean, I reuse zips from jeans for projects. Do you? Things. Yeah, because they're, they're really nice and it works really well with denim. Do you know what as well though? The, um, I think it does depend what you plan to use it for because for a laptop, it's quite nice to have a smaller, sort of less um, gap at the side because you want it to be secure once it's in there. Yeah. It's less likely to fall out if it's yeah. smaller. That's true. Whereas if you've got projects, you know, maybe if you're using this as a sewing bag or to take to oh, yeah. things, you want to be able to get... You want to be, be able, able to, to sort of open it up open completely. It out. Yeah. So it really depends on the use, really. Depends on your, as you say, personal preference. Right, okay, I'm going to leave that one in now. Just take it off and pull, get more out. This is actually really therapeutic. You I thought that as you were doing it, just like... It's like, yeah, just, just, just sort of clearing stuff out very, very quickly. Do you tend to always um, do a stitch rather than a spray? Do you prefer? Yeah, I mean, I mean I've sort of said that ages ago. When mum used to quit, everything was done by hand, so it was a lot, sort of a long, uh, for me. Yeah. But um, we never used to use sprays. You can do, and I have in the past, and it's really easy. But if we've got some, um, I had sort of loads of kids hanging around when I was, I was doing this, so I didn't really want to um, gas them. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it's nice to show how you can do things. It's nice to get the sprays and things. I would recommend them because it's really quick. Yeah, depends, um, you know. But depends what, depends what folks boat really. But I also show you how you can do it without. So there we have, we've got more. There we go. We've got a message. Oh, we've lost our iPad as well. We logged out. I'll let you carry on and okay, I'll do this at the same time. You, you do that. You work that out. So... <laughs> Just remove it, hopefully it'll log in. It's probably because we closed it, didn't we? We did, to do yeah, some to measuring. It. Now I've got to remember the password, testing me now. Da, da, da. That's all right. We're nearly there. Okay. Right. Let's go. Another fact it's the same sort of colour as sewing quarters <laughs> sort of packaging Yeah, I've got to keep well. it in theme. Yeah, yeah exactly. In theme. Love it. So, to add your zip... Yes. Um, you measure the distance between here and here which is 39 and divide that by two which is 14 and a half yes and you mark the 14 and a half point here you then get your zip fold your zip in half find the middle point which i've put down there and mark that as well which you can see i've done there and like you said zips of various sizes depending if yeah. you want to go for we've got some different zips if you want to go for a white zip then you've got different lengths depending on Exactly, and if you've got your iPad, you might decide to have a zip that way around. So you wouldn't yeah. need that one either. So it's like a, more like a yeah, slip pouch just, that you could put. Yeah, the difference with this one is you're adding a zip on the curve. So what you do, you've got your mark points, and then you pin it, starting in the middle, finding your pins, which are hidden, um, all the way around. Line it up. So we've got some different zips, let's see. So depending what size zip you want, we've got... Um, We've got a 56 centimetre, which is the one that That's you used one. for the main bag earlier. So that's the longest one. 
You can see that one there. And these are just a one-way zip as opposed to sort of two meeting in the middle. So you've got that there as your 56 centimetre or 22 inches. Then you've also got the one that you're using now, which was 51, wasn't it? 51 centimetres yep. or 20 inches. That was the answer to that one. We were that was it. <laughs> we did know, really. And then we also got a 36 centimetre zip, um, which is 14 inches. So three different size options. As um, Jess was saying, you know, if you wanted to perhaps use it for an iPad and you wanted a smaller zip, then you've got the option to do that with those three different zip sizes there. Just faffing about changing the foot to a zip foot. Um, Some people are scared of zips. I know. I, I never used to like zips. No. But once you get going with zips, it's like the, um, the uh, eyelets that we did earlier. Yes. Once you get going, you want to put zips on everything. <laughs> so um, change to a zip foot. This is a, an Elna 340. So the zip foot which comes with this, um, it, the needle I don't think is repositioned on this one. You just move the zip around from this side to this side, depending on which side you're sewing. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So pin that to there. And then when you get to the corners, you get your little scissors and you just ease it round. You just clip. I think it says in the magazine about no more than five millimetres. You don't want to get too far. Just let's see if I can do it upside down so you can see. So just I'm just going to move that sorry, a tiny bit. Sorry. That's it. I just wanted to be able to see. Cool. There you go. Yeah. So just clip it about four or so in like that, which means you can ease it. Let's do one little there as well means you can ease it round there. Okay. Can you see? Yeah. Much easier, easier to ease the needle. <laughs> um, obviously, I was going to say the zip is face down. Do you also um, clip the corner of the fabric? Are you going to curve that or you no, don't need to? You don't need to. At the end, when you're actually attaching your, your lining, you can because then you, you clip it to make it sort of smoother. But at this stage, no, because it, it makes no, no difference to the actual sewing. So then, so... Clip that there. Okay. And then do the other side. What about 20 minutes? Oh, okay, um, cool. In that case, I'll just it. quickly do this. Okay. Um, from Valerie. Morning, Valerie. Um, love your programme and all your fabrics. I'm new to quilting and you've inspired me. Aww. Oh, good. That's what it's all about. That's what we're here, all about here at Sewing Quarter. So send us a picture of your first quilting project, Valerie. We'd love yeah. to see it, wouldn't we? Exactly. Well, so, something... I've got to stop saying that. Um, the thing about quilting is some, sometimes you look at it and you think, ah, oh, so much work. I mean, some quilts take, you know, a year or something to make, um, especially doing it all by hand. Or sometimes you can do little, little tiny sort of samples, like improvy sort of ones, or you can do little lap quilts. Really quick to do and feels but really But also effective. a project like that as well, where you're quilting. Yeah. But, you know, that's so doable. It's not a massive quilt. It's, no, it's as a not. first project. It's, it's ideal. No, it's really ideal. And we also had another message from Rachel. Morning, Rachel. Um, good morning from Rachel in Cheshire. Loving the show with projects and gorgeous fabrics, giving me more things to make has started sewing in December. Cool. Amazing, love it. Oh, it makes right. me happy. That's so, what we're all about, inspiration for lots of new ideas. So that's all pinned. You can see it's all clipped around the corners and then I'm just gonna sew close, but not too close. This one was sewed really, really close because I just wanted to see it, if I can make it nice and tight, which means sometimes when you move the zip, it can be a bit sort of tight. And when you buy a bag, sometimes it's a bit tight because the lining's jars ready. A little yeah, bit. jars a little bit. So I'm just gonna sew that all the way around. So zips on a curve being made very easy this morning, just clipping that zip in the corner to sort of give it a bit of freedom and flexibility to move. Change it from a zigzag back to a normal obs. Because <laughs> otherwise obs. it's going to obs. It's going to be a bit strange. Right, okay. So we'll just go round. When you get to um, the curve, just go slowly. And ease it round. What sort of seam allowance are you doing on this? Oh, there's not. You're just, it's not, you're just close following close to the zip. Yeah. Um, when you actually sew your lining, um, you sew your lining through to catch the zip. So well, just so it, you can see here. Yeah. You're not sewing through all the layers to the back of the fabric. You're just sort of catching it in there. So you don't. We want to make sure that your actual zip stitching is below where you're going to attach your bag. So the, the zip's going to be out, so you can actually yeah. zip, <laughs> zip across. Exactly. And also, so um, when you sew your zip on, pick a, pick a um, thread, I was going to say yarn, pick a thread which is the same colour as the zip. So it's going to be hidden. It's going to be hidden. Be... So yeah, when sewing that lining on, it was sewed on with teeny tiny white stitches to go with a teeny tiny white zip. But we're using cream here, which is effectively the same thing. 
So we're just going to round. There we go. And at this point, is the zip completely done up? You're not, you're not yeah, I'm yeah. completely done up. You get to a point where you wiggle it. So you can either, when you get to that point, you can either wiggle it round, or you can do what I do, just do a little back stitch on the zip, come off the machine, move the zip round, and carry on. It's much quicker. You've got easier. somewhere to go. So yeah. You can get around it because it's not. You're not going to see it. So you can just sort of do it that way. So we'll just go, keep going like this. But yeah, this, this, this project is a really nice introduction if you haven't actually done a curved zip in anything. It's a really nice, easy way of showing you how you can do it where it's not terrifying. There aren't many curved zips in clothing or dressmaking, are there really? Like, I'm trying to think whether there'd ever be an, an occasion for a, you know, unless maybe you had I don't know, a zip on a shoulder, which is very rare. Or, oh, cool. You, yeah, it was like a quirky zip, but yeah. it is more in things like bags or... Now, I'm just going to, I know you don't need to because you're right at the end, but I'm just going to show you what I do to wiggle your zip. I spend so many times putting scissors down, they just get lost. So you can see I've come off there. I've still kept that pinned in. I've moved, moved the zip back. Yep. And then you can just sew it. Oh, okay. So much easier than if you're fiddling, faffing, fiddling. And trying about, to get around that zip. Yeah, and just make sure that your actual stitching carries on where the zip was. You just come off. Just go back. Oh. You're not going to see that back stitch anyway because no. it's completely hidden in it's your... It's completely hidden yeah. in your lining. So that's that one. Now trim off, trim off your thread. And Actually, then... the zip is very compliant. Like, it's very happy to yeah. curve. If you see... I'm going to just do that so it's a bit stiffer. A bit stiffer. When you go like that... Here you can see that's that. been more yeah. than happy to just be manipulated into a curve yeah much easier now in the magazine adding the zip here we go uh when you clip the words uh, place the quilted back which would be because we've done before we say you call it back and front although it is the same yeah place the quilted back right size up and pin the clip the closed zip into place right size together on top in the same way making sure the front and back line up so the zip starts and finishes in exactly the same position on both sides because you have marked here you do need to do, it, do the, the same mark point. yeah you need to do the same mark on this one yeah so get your little lovely brown mark these lids always come off you i've mapped them lids i've Snaps. lost <laughs> I've lost them, it's ridiculous. So, half 39, 14 and a half, which is 10, where are we? 10, 15, 14 and a half, half of 39 uh, is... 14 and a half, no, it's not. half 39. Half 39 is 24 15, 19 and a half. And a half. <laughs> Half no. 39? Half of 39. What's it's 15, half? 19 and a half. 19 and a half, thank mm. you. I'm just... <laughs> yeah. Quick, quick test it's this morning. It's too early for me. We've got pens right. out, we're doing Bye. exams. We're doing there we go. <laughs> There we go. Just double check it. If in doubt, just fold it in half. There we go. Yeah, okay. that one's right. <laughs> that one's right. See, and it's, you're like, hang on a minute, because you know, it's starting at one. <laughs> yeah, because we're starting in the middle of the mat on first yeah. So, as you can see, I've already got that bit marked on there, so I know exactly where it is on the other side. I'll just do a little one just because when you sew it in. So there you are. And then you start and do it again. Um, just there. So pin again and go all the way around. Because you're doing it, um, on this side, it might feel a little bit fiddlier and you end up um, sort of moving your, you're starting on this side. You can yeah. zip, you know, do it the way around, but you need to start on this side. So what I would do is I would um, undo the zip to about there, sew it to there, and then move the zip back. Back round and then yep. do the so second So I half. will do that now. This is, the, this is the sort of main complicated bit about this bag. Um, this is the bit we want to see, yeah, really. Yeah, this is the bit we want to see. To and, then any, yeah, and then anything else is um, adding the, the, the lining. So I'll just do that. Uh, how long have I got? Also, quite unusually, um, probably about eight or nine minutes. Ooh. Unusually. Oh, handles as well. Yes. Handles are really easy. I can just talk those through while I'm actually doing this. You cut your, um, it says to, in the instructions to cut your handles to eight centimetres by 32. Depends on the length of your handle, how long you want them. That, that yeah, is an eight it's, yeah, it's customizable. Yeah, I mean, customised, depending on what you might decide they're too long, might decide they're too short. So I'm just going to clip it this again. What you actually do is you cut your handles to that size. You iron medium weight are we medium weight yeah, medium yeah, weight interfacing inter um to the reverse what you can always do which is what i prefer to do is to actually cut slightly bigger and put your interfacing on then just cut it down like this that stuff love like that this. stuff use that stuff on everything 
This is your interface, so you can use it for cuffs and collars and yeah. anything like that, can't you? Give any, it a bit more stability. Any reinforcing of bags, anything you actually want. Um, and I mean, that, that's a meter in there, and you're going to use a strips. tiny strip, <laughs> yeah. just this much. That's why it's really useful to have things like that in your stash because you just you just randomly, oh, I'll do this today. It's a rainy day. You it's like baking, it. isn't it? Like you have a little. Yeah. It's so lovely. I always, I love. I know this sounds really silly. Go on. When you have all the ingredients already at home for what, what you want to make in a book, do you know what I mean? Like if you open a, a recipe book and you think, I've already got all of that in the cupboard. Like yeah. you have enough, if, like with cakes and things, because you've got enough stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, a bit, of, a bit of this and a bit of that. Whereas, you know, when you first start Larder. making... Yeah, yeah exactly. But when you first start making things, you're like, I haven't got a bit of, you know, nutmeg and ginger and cinnamon or whatever yeah, it is you need. It's, yeah, you've got a bit of interfacing building. and a bit of interlining. Yeah. You and... don't just need fabric, you need your kit, all yeah. your stuff. No, so what I'm doing with this one is I'm just pinning it to about two-thirds to there. And I'm going to sew from there to there. Then I'm going to wiggle the zip back. Yeah, and then do that last little third. So I'll just do that now. It's quite unusual, actually, I, to see handles on the outside. Yeah. Quite often they're, they're enclosed, aren't they, in that lining? But I quite, I quite like that. No, I like that as well. Um, also, when you're... I mean, here are mine I prepared earlier. We won't get around to that, I don't think. So because it's got interfacing on, what you actually do is you've got your eight centimetre fabric. Let's imagine this is eight centimetres. Yeah. With your interfacing on it. You then... Um, like bias binding? Are we going to fold it like that? No. Um, well, you... <laughs> yeah, no. but it's like really no. wide bias binding. <laughs> you, you fold in the, the sort of long, on the long bit, in by a centimetre and press. Because it's got interfacing on it, it gives it a bit of stiffness and it'll hold more. Yeah. So what I tend to do is I tend to mark where the centimetre is and then just press it with my fingers and with your iron, iron as you go, watching not to burn the end of your fingers off. Yeah. So a centimetre on that side, a centimetre on this side. So once you've got those bits, you then fold it in half, press again, and then top stitch down that side and that side. So um, one, one will actually with. hold, and the other one's just for sort of decorative purposes. Yeah. And then when you attach your, your, your handle to your bag, Depending on where you, you want to have your fold, I tend to have them on the inside or on the outside where you're there, so you're holding it sort of there. Comfortably, yeah. yeah. It depends on what you, what you actually want. You then fold the raw edge under by about two centimetres. Mark out where you want it to go on your bag. I've done from the centre out and marked about four or five centimetres or maybe eight, yeah, eight to the outer edge there, eight to the outer edge there, and then just pinned it and then stitched with a square and then a little... I like yes. the cross. There's a little cross detail oh, well, on there. Oh, there's only bags with crosses on. So I thought, let's do crosses. Let's just do it. But also it gives it a bit more strength. Yeah. You know, if you've got something heavy in there, like a laptop or valuable, you don't want a handle that's going to fall No, you don't. You know, it's nice and strong. I don't know if you can see. And because it's on the, on the outside, a lot of handles are sewn on the inside, so it gives it an extra layer. But this one, because it's on the it outside, external, you, you do need a cross. Yeah. If you can just see, it's really hard because it's on black, but there is a little cross through that there. You could even just colour the handles, couldn't you? Yeah. If you wanted to. You could do whatever you want. <laughs> so we're doing two thirds of the zip. Yep. With the zip open. With the zip open. And I'll just get down to that bit. Let's keep going. We've got about five minutes. Ooh, five. ooh, ooh, ooh. We might actually get around to um, finishing the outside bit. You never know your luck. But it'll be really good to see how easy it is to actually sew a zip on a curve. Also, I love how quickly the fabric is just happy to accept that curve do you know what I mean like you clip yeah. the zip you didn't even have to clip the fabric no. and it automatically took that shape you know that curve isn't it um I keep looking at it thinking I really want to colour that in that's wrong isn't it this fabric yeah I think no I think as well lovely as a project to do with the children for going back to school I think I think oh we could contrast yes you could mix and match Ooh, oh yes! Oh, I like that. Well, you could reverse a ball. You could do um. You could have the inside. I yeah. know the zip you can't reverse, but you could have the inside in that contrasting fabric. That would be cool. That's true. Right. I'm just going to move the zip just a little bit out of the way, and then pin this bit and sew this bit in. So just pin. When I get because it's already got the sort of clip corner. This may feel a little bit faffy going around. Another favourite word. Just got to squidge that in. So you just squish it in. Use lots of pins and clip. Why do you think we always get new stationery when you go back to school in September? Is it like a, oh, a just a, a bribe to make you more excited about going back to school? Do you think? Because I, I used so. to love that going stationery shopping for 
New yeah. term. Oh, that's just hoarding, though, isn't it? Mm. I love it. Yeah, we're, we're the same. I think it's it's a sort of excuse for dragging your kids out to go and get them new school shoes because they're, yes. they're so Yes, that's boring. what it was. It was always teamed with either that or well, you needed new trainers for PE. Yeah, and go then, and get yeah. something new from uh, a stationer, you know. <laughs> you need new gel pens because you really use those in class. Oh, OK, let's go. You need a new ruler and rubber. I need a new ruler and rubber because they really wear out, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could just use the same one for your whole schooling life, I imagine, but it's... Yeah, no, but that's not the point, though, is it? It's you need to have new. It's got to match. Everything's got to be new and branded. Right, OK, so I'll just quickly do that one. And then okay. um, we can see how it looks when you've got a zip closed. And talking of colouring in, we've also got those fabric markers, so these textile markers. We use these on, and um, we've used these before on this um, Michael Miller fabric, so you can colour in the fabric. You could use this on this pencil fabric if you wanted to, to add some colour, to apply some colour, um, you know, wherever you want to. So you can mark um, with these jewel-tipped felt uh, pens and um, these once you've once you've um, left them to set for six hours you can wash your fabric and that color will be set so you can um you can either sort of color in different sections of the fabric or you can also use it to mark the fabric and write your name mm. you know on things on school uniform or you know pe kit or whatever it is the fab colors as well Lots better than your selection. standard sort of black marker you get for laundry yeah Right, okay, so then we have, so it looks a bit like you're not too sure. No, no, I can you see You then it. would <laughs> clip that, we'll do that in a sec, and you can see, I'll turn it this way. See, this is what my laptop case is like without the handles, and it is, it is definitely better to have handles, I think. Yeah. But you don't have to put them on if you didn't no, want you don't to. don't have to. So that's like that. Um, and of course, you can get different coloured zips, whatever you actually want to do. Yep. So then, so you've got that bit, and then you can see, you can see it sort of lines up. There, let's just open it again. What you could always do if you didn't want to use a lining fabric is you could um, sort of trim off the excess there and just stitch that down. Oh, okay, so rather than doing yeah. another layer if you, if you didn't want yeah, to. Yeah, if you, if you didn't want to, if you didn't want to line it. So then we'll just, um, how long have we got? About two minutes. Ooh, in that case, I'll <laughs> tell you then. So in that case, you would then, um, don't have to have the zip open all the way, but... This doesn't have a turning gap, obviously, turning gaps in the zip. Yeah. So when you sew around the outside, make sure your zip is open. I have never, ever, ever sewn a purse or a bag with a zip completely closed and then had to unpick. Never done that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I hear people do that, though. No. Yeah. Apparently, so, people do apparently that. Apparently, people do that. <laughs> and it can be really annoying to either unpick everything or spend ages wiggling your zip. Yeah, thinking, trying no. to squeeze it through. So um, just leave that open and then stitch. Um, start from here and go all the way around. Um, you've got a one centimetre seam allowance here. It says in the magazine to use a one and a half centimetre because you're sort of pulling it in. And so also you want a little bit of depth. Yeah, to you want give, a bit to, yeah, exactly. to be able to fit a laptop or something yeah. in there. Um, and, if you, and then you sew the way around, clip your corners, and then you've got your bag, as yep. it were. You, um, also, it's rather nice to not actually cut off seam allowances because it gives a bit of extra sort of, you know, strength on the side to just sort of put yeah. padding for your bag. Then you make your lining the same way as you do this, but without any quilting, you have your lining pieces which are cut the same size as this. This is why you've got a metre. If you did get yeah. a bundle this morning, you get a metre of your solid and half a metre of your pencil fabric. So you've got enough to do the quilting and the lining in a solid fabric. Yeah. Um, and then you have your, your lining, which you then sew from the same point where your zip um, is. You mark, transfer the marks. I would do it um, probably after you've actually put your zipper on just in case it moves around. I've just done it here just so you can see. So you mark where that is. You sew all the way around the bottom. Yeah. Um, you can see where I've actually marked there as well so I know where, where it lines up with the zip. Um, then once you've actually done that, you turn that, clip off the corners, any seam allowance excess that's on there, turn it inside out, um, press it again, and then you place your um, lining right sides have a look you, oh, so you your, turn this in the, the right yeah way. you turn your lining right side out and your um bag uh, wrong side out yes but it would be stitched RSWS at this point. is stitched yep. yeah you put your um laptop inside almost a bag in a bag yeah it's yeah. a bag in a bag this is the way you stand away you actually do um uh, bags making sure do you know what i did there do you know what i did there shut the zip shut the zip you see? I didn't want to say, yeah, but I just, you, just, yeah. you see, don't <laughs> shut your zip. Even if you just leave it, leave it. You just naturally sort of, yeah. yeah. So you shove this inside, <laughs> um, like this. What you should do beforehand as well is turn 
you know you've got your seam allowance here you've got this that way around just give it a quick press so you've actually got it so it's all smooth there yeah you just want to turn that over yeah. there. and then you in fact actually let's just do it completely like this <laughs> probably easier like that here we go um you then give your um before you actually put your your this inside clip off your corners and then give your your zip a quick press because if you okay. press it it'll make the teeth lie sort of flatter so they stick out more you see on that the zip sticking out whereas this one it was quite sort of flat like yeah, this it makes it more like that tips in. yeah so give it a quick press first oh this is really nice um and then you pin your lining to your zip like that all the way so we've got seal on sort of cream on white yeah we pin it all the way around making sure this bit lines up with that bit and then you hand stitch with a slip stitch um using the same sort of i would use the same as i said before i use white because you want the same color as the zip because when you're actually catching your zip it will probably go through to that side i have done on we those. are gonna have to stop you just yeah. i'm so sorry but are, i know but, that, but that's but the, instructions the instructions are instructions. in the magazine and you can see it's really easy it's really really yeah. easy I'll give it a go but the magazine if you do want to get the magazine as well just quickly this is from simply sewing issue 29 so we had, did have it in that bundle this morning but if you want to get it get those instructions that jess is just whizzing through you can go to um, simply, simplysewingmag.com and you can go back and you can look at the back issues. You can get um, issue 29 if you do want to get that one. All of the instructions in there for that laptop case because lots of you loving that this morning from Jess. Sorry we had to That's get okay, so near to the end. So nearly the end, there. But you get the idea. But we are nearly there. Thank you so much. That's, That's already okay. we've done that wall hanging and the laptop case with Jess. And I'm back in three minutes with some new fabric. So I'll see you shortly. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Britain's favourite sewing show is coming to London and we'll be there with bells on. The Great British Sewing Bee Live is taking place over four days from the 21st to the 24th of September at XL London. If you're a hobbyist dressmaker who's been inspired by what you've seen on The Sewing Bee, a seasoned professional looking for new ideas, or just fancy taking dressmaking up for the first time, this is the event for you. We are proudly sponsoring the Demo Theatre with live performances from designer, author and former Sewing Bee contestant Jennifer Taylor throughout the weekend. And with our discount code SQD, you'll get £1.50 off your ticket. So what are you waiting for? Grab your tickets now and join the buzz at the Great British Sewing Bee live this September. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. So I'm going to be showing you how to do an ease stitch. Um, it's very similar to our running stitch here, um, but the purpose of it would be different. So I've kind of mocked uh, the head of a sleeve here. Nine times out of 10, you will have to ease the top section of your sleeve. So this is the stitch that you would do that with if you were going to do it with hand. So I'm going to use the embroidery thread. I've just popped a knot on the end again, just so it doesn't pull through. Normally you wouldn't do it with um, embroidery thread. So on your sleeve, normally these sections will need to be kept as they are, because it's only this section here that we need to be working with. So I'm going to be doing a running stitch quite close to the edge of the fabric. I'm just going to do the quick method here where you're pulling the needle through the fabric while keeping it on the same needle so i'm going to stop there and then pull that all the way through like so so you can see that i've got just that section sewn there and then as i begin to pull you can see that i'm easing the head of my sleeve in so when that is stitched these curves should disappear they shouldn't be there because you've eased the bigger section into a smaller section on the clothing so that's easing Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more.
Good morning, welcome back. Well done if you were quick enough to get that laptop case in that last hour with Jess. It was fab with that curvy edge. I'd like to see your cases if you've made them. Please send in a picture when you have. We'd like to see those. So this hour is Miss It, Miss Out. So it's all in the title. Basically, we've got some gorgeous fabrics that we wanted to bring back to you and we can't guarantee when we'll be getting these back in stock. So they might not be reordered. We might not even get them back on the show. Um, and if we do, we can't guarantee when that will be. So these fabrics, if you've seen them before, perhaps you've seen them and you know, you've had your eye on them and thought, oh, I'll wait. Um, if you do want them, today's the day to get them because we might not get them back. So we have got 21 different fabrics to show you in this hour. Um, 17 of those, we've got less than 10 meters of stock of them. So if you do like them, just to make you aware, you will need to be quick. And um, remember, you can always ring the call center or on the website, just beneath the live feed of today's show is a shopping basket of everything um, that's, that's on offer. So if you do want to buy something with us, you can add it to your basket that way. So 21 fabrics, 17 with less than 10 meters in stock. So let's start. I'm just going to go straight in with my absolute favourite. I, I think I would even say this is my favourite fabric ever that we've had on the show here at Sewing Quarter. Flamingos. Oh, this is being seconded upstairs by Tim upstairs. Loving our director, loving this flamingo fabric as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. We love it. Absolutely love this fabric. It's... Um, a thicker sort of canvasy fabric it's got a bit more body and weight to it but flamingos are so on trend at the moment they're so fashionable really trendy um you know seen in a lot of the shops and in the department stores we've got a, a, just a little issue with that graphic at the moment we'll get that one on our screens in a minute but a really really gorgeous fabric we'll show you that in a sec so we have got some also these really um unusual fabrics this morning these have got a coating on them that mean they're wipeable so we've got a crocodile version and a fox version let me open this up a little bit but this is absolutely perfect if you wanted to perhaps make um a mat for arts and crafts so whether it's you know if you wanted to do whether it's uh, painting or drawing or anything where you've got lots of pva glue and getting messy this is great because it's wipeable as a tablecloth or as a table mat so again perfect for um perhaps a dip for dinners and for um if you wanted to make a a placemat for uh, for for the table for your children this is a wipeable fabric again would be lovely for lunch boxes would be lovely for um for a swimming bag because it's got that wipeable um it's got that pew coating on it so this is the cloud alligators on navy you can see there you've got that detail in the two different color alligators because you can see that sheen on the fabric there you go um with your lime green and that softer green as well ONHN06. So as I said, that's got a coating on it. It is a cotton, but that pew coating just giving it that wipeable feature. So making it great if you know it's going to get a little bit grubby or dirty, you can just get your cloth out and give that a wipe and make it nice and clean again. Perfect for children. So the other one um, with the pew coating is a fox fabric. So this is a really playful fox print. Um, and it's sort of a retro uh, colour palette here with the orange and uh, blue. Let me just open that one out. So there it is. You can see there, um, you've got that. Oh, that flamingos has already gone before I've even managed to show you the graphics. So someone's been super speedy. That's how quickly it's going this morning. Lots of these fabrics with less than 10 meters in stock. So if you like it, you will have to be quick. So this is the um, other fabric with that wipeable coating there. Again, it is a cotton, but it's got that laminate. It's got that wipeable feature. So you can just, this is fantastic for uh, lunch boxes. A meter and a half of this left now. <laughs> Going really quickly, HVHN96 for your foxes. Perhaps if you wanted to do a little case for children to take to school or a swimming bag, um, again, with that wipeable feature or a wet bag, and then this is perfect for that. So you've got cloud, uh, sorry, you've got crocodiles or foxes, two wipeable options with that pew coating. Perfect for messy children. <laughs> so I'll move that one to the side. So that flamingo one that I absolutely love has already gone. That's how quick it's going to go this morning, so you will have to be speedy. This is miss it, miss out. Okay. So let's have a look. Where's the... Um, doo -doo -doo. We've got lots of different floral options this morning. Oh, we've got these lovely florals here. This one here is a gorgeous... Um, oh, that's lovely. 
that reminds me of, um, oh, I don't know if I can say the name, but uh, again, like a, a famous floral, uh, floral print that you would get for wallpapers and lots of different um, lovely sort of soft furnishings and things. But this is a gorgeous fabric for soft furnishings, whether that's curtains, cushions, blinds. That tra those traditional colours. This will be lovely in a kitchen, particularly as well if you've got those sort of classic uh, blue and white, that china. It's got that lovely sort of feel to it. It's got a silky, uh, silky quality to that cotton. Beach House, what a lovely name. So they've got that cream background and that sort of um, grey blue in your floral there and that blossom with your leaves. CIMY87. That's been sold by the half metre, so it's cut off the bolt. You can have as much or as little as you want. So if you wanted two metres, that would be four units of fabric. It's 5.95 per unit, so 5.95 per half metre. So that's the Lilacs Beach House fabric. That's from the Blue Sky range. There's also another fabric um, from that range, which is just a different colourway. These work beautifully together if you wanted to introduce these um, for soft furnishings in a room and to team them up. Or on its own, you've got that there on that lovely uh, powder blue background with that navy detail in the leaves and blossoms. Again, this is limited stock. If you want this one, we need to go straight away on this. It's going really quickly. CTMY40, 5.95 per half metre. And just look at that with the cream as well. They do work really well together. If you wanted to mix and match those, perhaps um, you know, half a metre of each and just do something reversible even, because it is that same blossom and floral print that you can see there coming through in your twigs and leaves. So this is the blue one there, 5.95 per half metre. That blue sky range, you've got the option for it in the ivory or the blue. Both of those are in that shopping list beneath the live feed of today's show, if you like either of those. So the creams are across the bottom of your screens there. Lilacs Beach House. I don't know why it's called Lilacs, because it's, it's ivory and blue, but it is, that is the one. It's from that range. So if you are a bit confused, this is the, um, the Lilacs Beach House one there that you can see with that lovely floral print on it there. So two different colour options. Now we're going to go Hungry Caterpillar. We've got, um, in our offices here at Zone Quarter, we've got not all of the projects that have been made by our designers. It, it's an ever-growing sort of family and collection of different things that have been made. So bags and dresses and clothes and storage caddies and all sorts of things. And the Hungry Caterpillar projects really do stand out. They're the sort of ones that really catch your eye. Um, there's, there's a particular bag I can picture right now that's on one of our rails. Um, if you went to Festival of Quilts last week, you might have seen some of those projects there on the stand. And these, pro these fabrics are just so bright and bold and, and playful. There's nothing, although these are lovely for children, I don't even think these are particularly childish prints. You know, I think these are really, I'd love this. I'd love something made out of this, particularly this heart fabric from that range. So this is from the Very Hungry Caterpillar range from Macawa. You can see that caterpillar there. There he is. But teamed with your hearts in gorgeous colour palette with your oranges and your bright reds and pinks and some corals as well. You've got candy floss pinks and some magentas. Also, this one here is almost like a, a leopard print heart. But the colours just working really beautifully together. And then just that occasional caterpillar sneaking in, you can just see on the fabric. He's snoring away there. I love that book. Reminds me of my childhood. But look, this is just an insight into how colourful this fabric is. If you look on the selvage here, 18 different colours teamed into this fabric. I'll just show you that. You can see you've got lots of different um, lots of different pinks, as I said, but also oranges and some darker colours. So you can team that with, with some different solids if you wanted to pair those up for, for linings or for bindings. All those different colours there. So that's the first one from the Very Hungry Caterpillar. You've also got a dotty one. So this is a really fun, sort of a twist on a polka dot, really. These look like they've been painted on and they've got some, some texture to those, to those uh, spots. Let's open that up a bit. These are a bit like Smarties. <laughs> Looks like a sweet fabric. So you've got, um, again, keeping that colour from the caterpillar itself, so the green body of the caterpillar and obviously the yellow that you naturally associate. This would be lovely as a backing if you wanted to go for a playful, um, perhaps for a children's quilt. And these fabrics do team really, really well together. So this is from that Hungry Caterpillar range from Makawa. Only five metres of this one left. So if you do like this, you will need to check out your baskets on it. 
It's not confirmed that we're going to reorder these fabrics. If we do, we can't guarantee it could be quite a while before we have any of these back in stock, if we even do get them back in stock. So if perhaps you've seen these before and you've um, hesitated on ordering them because you thought we we're always going to have them, we won't necessarily have this back. So this is, this is the time if you want to take up that opportunity. That's your spotty one from Macau. And I'm just going to show you what that looks like with the hearts, how these colours do just work really well together. You can just see though, those perfect pinks and greens picked out. You can team these as a, as a playful combination. Something reversible would be really nice, whether it's a cushion or a quilt. Um, you know, you've got, you can just see picking out that detail in the pink, but also the green with the caterpillar. And then you can also introduce this third fabric from that range. I'll show you that red one. This one here, I'm, I'm not really sure how to describe this. It's like, um, it's got sort of splashes of darker burgundy in it, but it's almost like this, this to me looks a bit like waxy. It's got sort of a, because there's some texture to it. If you look really closely, it isn't sort of a solid print. There's a dappled effect in that background. And then it's almost like these uh, sort of stripes through it, look like someone's drawn on it, look like they could have been done with wax, um, with that sort of a cream waxed crayon because there is some lovely texture to it and it is called red texture fabric txmy50 again that's from a cow that hungry caterpillar range but look at it with the hearts as well that red color those red colors all coming through and working really well together if you wanted to team them up and um, you've got that red texture fabric teamed with your hearts there let's just see if we can see those two shall i move that So you can just see those two together, if you like those as a pair. Again, look, they do work really beautifully. They're just coming now. You can have a look and see that's how they work as a little married couple. They do look really, really good together. TXMY50 is that red texture fabric. The hearts fabric's on the bottom of your screen. XZMY54. Oh, that's like an eye test for me reading that tiny little, little code on the bottom of your screens there. Um, so those two are both from the Hungry Caterpillar range. A really playful, fun range, but also lovely for adults. Definitely not, not just for children. So let's just move these to the side. We've lost that uh, lilac flower one. We've sold out of that. That's already gone off our table. But we have still got it on the cream background. So if you like that one, which was this one here, that one we've still got a little bit of stock of that. The blue one has sold out. So let's go for monochrome notes now. We're going to go musical. So the laptop case that we made in the last hour, if perhaps you missed out on that pencil fabric that was a premiere brand new launch, but you like the monochrome feel and you wanted to use it as a music bag. So I said perhaps if you wanted to use it for sheet music and um, perhaps taking things to classes or perhaps if your child's learning a new musical instrument in September. I did try so many instruments and wasn't very good at any of them but perhaps if they go to a recorder club or they play the clarinet or any of those things you've got this monochrome fabric here with musical notes all over it you could use that quilted uh, laptop case uh, pattern from simply sewing magazine that jess just made and you can incorporate that or maybe you know um you know a gentleman that loves music and you want to make him a tie out of this this lovely musical fabric maybe for a conductor or a, a bow tie for a conductor in your orchestra if you play a musical instrument you could also make music stand covers. So, you know, the stands that you use for, um, you know, if you've got your folders and all your sheet music on those. At my school, we used to have covers for those that you could just pop over, stop them getting dusty. And also they look nice on the background. You could just have the hanging, you know, that goes over the back, hangs over the back of the stand. So you could just have that musical feature on the back there. So lots of different options for this musical fabric. Also, because this is monochrome, those pens that I mentioned in the last hour, if you saw, um, we started colouring in the pencil fabric, you could customise this fabric and you could add some colour to it. So we have these textile markers that we originally used with the uh, Michael Miller Colour Me fabric. And you can apply colour to the fabric. You leave it to dry for six hours and then you iron the fabric inside out. And then it's set, that, that um, colour is then set on the fabric. You can wash it as many times as you like and the colour will stay in place, it's locked in. And it's perfect for monochrome fabrics like this uh, musical notes one here. Now there's 20 different colours, so a lovely uh, selection of different sort of greens and pinks and blues, as you can see there. And these are um, dual tip pens, so I can just show you here. You've got a, a thicker nib, that felt tip, 
And also you've got a thinner nib on the other end for more sort of intricate uh, fiddly sections. I don't think I can colour this fabric we've got here, but you can colour straight onto those monochrome fabrics. If you wanted to apply colour to some of the musical notes or to some little sections, then you can do that. Um, you can do that on those. We did have that pencil fabric that had been coloured in, um, just so you can sort of see how it looks when the colour is applied. But what's really lovely is you've got that option to customise it if you just wanted to add one colour or a few different colours. And again, lovely for children if they want to be involved in a project and something that they're going to take into school or use regularly. They can use those pens to do that. So this musical notes fabric is on your monochrome background, RGMY34, that's 4.95 per half metre. Now our fabrics that are cut off the bolt for you, we can cut those you know, as much or as little as you want in half metre increments. So if you wanted four metres of fabric, that would be eight units and they're cut off you know, a massive bolt of fabric so you can have as much or as little as you like. And the lovely thing about these, um, these cut to measure fabrics is that they are delivered to you in a really lovely sewing quarter box. Now, I don't know if I've got one hidden away somewhere. Our floor manager Jay is just running, we're getting him running around this morning. He's got a box here. And we get loads of compliments on our packaging. People really love them. It's like a little gift from us to you. Let me just steal that from you. Thank you, Jay. Um, so you get this in a sewing quarter box like this, which has got our lovely sort of sticker on the top. And inside all of these cut to measure fabrics arrive um, beautifully wrapped in tissue paper with a nice little sticker there as well. So rather than just sort of an envelope, you get that nice delivery to your front door for those cut to measure fabrics. RGMY34. And talking of little gifts from us to you, if you are multi-buying this morning, if it's the first time you've um, had an order from Sewing Quarter, welcome, welcome to the Sewing Quarter family. If it is the first time you're buying something, the first time you spend over £10, we send you this little sewing quarter sewing kit. So this is a present from us to you, and it's added to your order. Um, so, you know, it's worth £14.95, but it's added free of charge as a little present. And inside, you've got lots of little things, perfect for taking on the go. I've stolen the tape measure out of there. I used it in the last hour, but you get a tape measure, scissors, a seam unpicker, needles, buttons, safety pins, and 12 different cottons there as well. So you can take that on the go with you, whether you're going to workshops or classes, or perhaps you're um, taking some, a little project on holiday with you. We'll pop that in the post if it's your first order over £10. So that musical notes fabric you can just see on the desk there is four ninety five per half metre. That's from Macawa. We've got some other monochromes as well. I'll show you those now. So that's our musical notes. This one, we can't show you too much because it might hurt your eyes. It's those tiny little sort of pinprick dots. So this is again on a black background, white dots. And there is actually a scallop shape to this. So you can see we've got a running theme of those scallops this morning because we did the wall hanging with the curves this morning. But you can see that um, the dots aren't just sporadic. They're not random. They ha have actually been placed with a slight curve to it. So you can just see almost like a, a, a shell actually. It sort of repeats across in a circular shape. If you can just see that there, it's just coming up on your screen, you can see that there is a bit of a circular um, sort of curve to it. There it is. Just seeing that curve here, and here you can just see. If you're doing clamshell quilting, this would look really cool. Also that scalloped wall hanging we did this morning, if you wanted to include some um, sort of curves to the top of a, of a storage caddy or a wall hanging, um, lovely that if you wanted to go for a slightly bigger curve, then you could. It is lovely fabric, it's just not particularly camera friendly. I don't want to give you a headache, so we're not hesitating on that too much. But this is your um, dotty scallop fabric on black background, BDMY68, that's 4.95. Again, it's 100% cotton, it's from Macawa. Lovely for a backing fabric if you want something slightly more interesting than a solid. Perhaps if you're doing a quilt and you know, you've got um, lots of intricate uh, details in the, a monochrome quilt um, on the front of your fabric, you could introduce that as a backing or a binding. So that's the scallops on black. We've also got it in white, another one for your eyes. <laughs> I don't know if the white's better or worse, we'll soon find out. Again, you've got that curvy scallop shape to it. I think this might be worse. Here we go. Take a deep breath, have a quick look and then glance away. But it is lovely for your quilts. It's just not great on camera. But again, you can see almost like a, a spiral effect, like a sun with those dots there. That's the monochrome dotty on white. 
JRMY92. Hopefully we didn't hurt your eyes too much there, but you can just see as well together if you pair the black and white. Or we are limited on stock on the white. So if you do like that one, that's the main graphic on your screen at the moment, you can add that to your basket. We're not sure with these, we've got 21 fabrics this morning, some have already sold out, but a lot of these, um, well, 17 of them actually, uh, we've got less than 10 metres of stock of them. And also a lot of these, we can't guarantee that we'll ever get them back in stock. We might do, but if we do, it could be a couple of months. So um, some of them, you know, like the flamingos, that's already sold out this morning. We love it, it's sold out before we even managed to show you it. Um, but if you do like them, these are fabrics that you will need to check out your baskets on or give the call centre a ring 0800 112 4433. But if you want to see those two um, black and white monochrome scallops as well, they do work really well together. If we can just see that there. With those sort of dots. There they are. That's your black. BDMY 68. And the white. There it is. JRMY 92. Lovely. What are you up to this morning? Let me know. Is anybody sewing? Is anybody making a project while they're watching me today? But I would love to know what you're making. Please send us an email, studio at sewingquarter.com or go to the website and you can drop us a message on the message to the studio box. I want to know what you're making. What projects have you got on the go at the moment? So we've also got, I'm going to just move those pens to the side. So, oh, we had this, we launched this on the show a couple of weeks ago and we had, um, this was really popular. We had this in two colours, gold and silver. We've only got silver left. Um, and this is a, a pew leather. So it's a leather look fabric. I must emphasize it isn't a leather, but it's 50% viscose, 50% pew leather. So it has got sort of a leather look to it. And you can just see there, it's got it's a real thickness to it, but also it's got um, a grain. If you look really closely, it looks a really expensive fabric. Producer Hannah's saying you will need to be quick on that because um, it is going really quickly. Less than five metres now of that VCJQ12. But this is perfect for bags because it's that thicker material. Lovely for a beach bag. Obviously, silver goes with anything and everything. Um, and also, what's lovely about this, if I just show you at the side, it's got a really lovely soft lining. If you didn't want to line it with another fabric, with a backing fabric, you could just leave this as is. And it is a thicker you can just see there with that sort of grained look to it. And it would be wipeable because it's got that, it is that pew leather. 625 per half metre of that. You all need to be quick on that one. So, oh, we've got some more whales back. We've got it now in this hour on navy. Oh, that one's gone. I haven't even shown it. How has that gone that quickly? That's crazy. People on the website already. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Oh, we've got Glamour Grape. I've never seen this one before. Well, this feels slightly different. This has got a slightly, um, almost a, a bit more of a, a canvasy feel to this. It's a slightly thicker fabric. It's not, um, it's still a cotton, but it's not such a soft cotton. Um, so this would be better maybe for more projects where you want a bit of longevity, great for a shopper bag or a messenger bag. Very sophisticated, very chic. Sort of a continental feel there with that um, Eiffel Tower, a Parisian feel. You know, you've got your, with your um, dogs. <laughs> Producer Hannah just said, oh, it's a bit Parisian. Yet it is Parisian because there's an Eiffel Tower there, Hannah. <laughs> she thought she was being Mystic Meg, but she really wasn't. It was right there in front of her. But you can see those sophisticated, all those different sort of silhouettes there with different cuts of your dresses. You know, we've got sort of A-line dresses and some more tight fitting ones with your nice little dogs as well, your pooches on your leads. And also you've got high heels and handbags and you could definitely fussy cut different sections of these if you wanted to and add them to some solid fabrics, whether that's solid purples. But Glamour Grape, that one again is being sold by the half metre, KHFG 53. On your cream background, a little clutch bag and that would be nice and that would be quite quirky actually because you've got some handbags and lots of ladies posing in their hats and bags. That's your glamour grape, a nice continental feel to that one. And a nice um, sort of lilac and violet and indigo colour palette there. And also some lime green if you wanted to pick that out. There's some um, lime green detail in some of those florals and in some of those um, uh, sort of handbags and shoes as well. So perhaps a lime green lining for a bag would work nicely or for your pockets. 
4.95 per half meter for Glamour Grape. Okay. Then we've also got, this is sort of a linen look fabric. So um, this has got a, a, it's a, it's a thicker fabric. So again, it's got more body, a bit more weight to it. This is lovely for um, soft furnishings. If you want to go for something with a bit more longevity, um, you know, whether that's a doorstop, something for the, for the hat around the house. Um, but also for, for curtains and blinds, it's a bit thicker. What's lovely about this is it's a natural color background fabric. If you look really, really closely, I don't know how closely we can zoom in on that. It's almost like little grains of sand in that background. You can see that texture there. You can just see that sort of that texture to it with that linen look. So this is 80% cotton, 20% polyester. So it isn't linen, it's got a linen look to it and it isn't, the composition of it is slightly different. So it is like, that's what gives it that slightly sort of thicker feel. Um, these fabrics, lots of people buy this in, in sort of larger quantities because they're doing using it for soft furnishings. So we're, how many meters of this? We've only got 10 units. So five meters of this left in stock. So if you are looking for a bigger project, if it is, you know, for curtains or blinds and soft furnishings, which these fabrics really lend themselves to, what's the width of this fabric? Do you know, um, can we find out? It should be a wider fabric because it is more for soft furnishings. Um, but with those nautical colors as well, and um, you've got those uh, sort of darker reds and navies, sort of a twist on the um, American flag, stars and stripes, but as well with that lovely natural background uh, colour as well, so you can team that with any natural colours. Let's have a look if I've got a tape measure to measure that width. Oh, yeah, I have. I'm just going to check the width of that for you, make a racket with my trolley while I do it. Let's see. I reckon this is 100, it might be 150. Oh no, maybe not. This is 100, about 142. So it's a slightly wider fabric as opposed to some of those um, 110 centimetre ones. This is a slightly, you know, obviously it is made probably for more soft furnishings. If you wanted to introduce that into um Perhaps for a children's bedroom would be really nice. You could do some, you could max, mix and match some accessories, whether that's a bin and a lampshade and also um, cushions or a big, a bean bag. Well, that's a great idea. Producer Hannah just said a bean bag. That would be really lovely for that, um, you know, with that natural feel to it. BFFG 79, that's the Linen Look Stars. And that's 4 95 per half metre. Okay. So we've also got elephants. We saw the elephants earlier in a bundle on a natural background fabric, but here we've got it on the red. So this is on a nice sort of a deep red there. With your, again, with, it's got like a cream and a crew sort of colour elephant on the uh, print. 3.55 per half metre. So that's really good value. PEJQ29, limited stock on lots of these now. 0800 112 4433. If you do want these fabrics, please do check out your baskets. Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. Every now and again, you get an elephant with a slightly different um, ear and eye. Can you just see that there? It's like a thicker marking on it. I wonder why that is just picked out. A bit more detail. That one's got a black eye, <laughs> it's been beaten up. <laughs> PEJQ29, but that's the accrue elephant. You've got the odd clumsy elephant in there that's had a bit of an accident. Again, being sold by the half metre, 3.55 per half metre. I've never seen that fabric before. But it would be nice for, um, you know, we're not sure whether we'll, we'll actually get it back or not, but whether we'll use that for, um, you could use that for a lovely toiletry bag. That would be really lovely. And as a unisex fabric as well, it works really well, um, you know, as a male or female fabric depending what projects you've got in mind for it. So that's our elephants. We've also got a stripe. Oh, there's more people with that in their baskets than we've got available, so please do check it out. That's going to be a bit of a, who's going to be quicker with, with typing in their details on that one. So we've also got 
and linen look striped. So this is a this is de this is deck chairs. This is I'm from South End, so this is seaside. This is absolutely saying that to me. This is um, flags. This is beach beach huts and deck chairs, and it's got a very nautical feel with that linen stripe. Lovely for beach bags. Perhaps if you've still got your holiday to look forward to, um, and you want to make a bag to take away with you, this would be perfect for that. But also, um, you know, perhaps for lining a hamper or for taking uh, something to the beach. Again, this is a linen look, cotton. You can just see here, it is that sort of thicker fabric. So again, you've got that body and durability to it. UZJQ98. This one's actually 100% cotton. So that linen look we saw before with the stars on it, the composition of that was 80% cotton, 20% polyester. This one is 100% cotton, but it is still a linen look. It does still have that look to it and that texture. So this is 3.95. Let's have a look. So this is printed. That's not a woven stripe. That there is printed. I think we've made a bag with that fabric. Sort of a centimetre wide uh, sort of stripe there going through that. But lovely for the seaside. That's where you'll find me on a day off at the seaside. Why not? I love living by the sea. So that's your stripes there. You said JQ98, 395. That's a really good value one uh, for your stripes there on your linen. Did you want to see how wide that one was? Should we measure it? Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm working in a, I feel like one of those pro people in a fabric shop. That's all you know that does all the cutting and cutting all the fabrics this morning. This one isn't as wide, I don't think. Let's have a look. Helps if you turn the tape measure the right way. This one is 115. So that's a slightly narrower fabric. The Stars one was 100, about 150, and um, this one is 115. Lovely. Oh, I love this. I don't think I've, I haven't seen this one before either. See, this hour, miss it, miss out. These are, these are fabrics that we've had on before, but perhaps even only once or twice. And we don't know when, if at all, we'll get these back. But I've not seen this. This is lovely. This has um, got quite a whimsical feel to it. It's got a lovely heart detail. It's got a mustard, a um, little sort of mustard heart within it and also a blue and a teal. But oh, that's really, really gorgeous print. I love that, very, um, a very feminine. I'd like a little blouse made out of that. You could make a nice, nice shirt or a blouse. This is from the Sweetheart range. Oh, that's really, really lovely. Can we look a little bit closer at that just so we can see those hearts? <laughs> Let's have a look. Here we go. I'm being fussy now. I just want you to see the detail. There it is. It's lovely. It's like little hearts growing on those twigs. That's really, really gorgeous. I love that a lot. K-U-M-Y-59. I don't know how much that's been on the show, but that's brand new to me. 5 95 per half metre. That mustard detail on the hearts, if you wanted to, you know, to pick that out and team it with a mustard. But also those soft blues as well. Lovely. Perhaps as well, if you wanted to do something, it has got a, a sort of a bit of a natural feel to it because it's got those twigs running through it and the uh, branches. If you wanted to go for something for the garden, if that was placemats, perhaps for uh, the garden table or something like that, that would be really lovely. You could quilt some mats with that. That's really good. Table runners. So we've also got leaves on beige. This must be from the same collection because these work really well together. Is this also from that? From the same range, very, they've got very similar colour palettes here. In fact, these work really well together. I'll show you them together in a second. But first of all, I'll show you this trinkets fabric. So this is on a beige background. It's a two-tone leaf. So um, lovely for autumn, actually. You know, you've got, this is a very traditional print, lovely for patchwork, lovely for quilting. But it has got an autumnal feel to it with those leaves there. But you've got, again, that sort of a woven branch effect there. The beige background, you've also got a really sort of fine dot around the leaves itself. And then you've got those copper colours and those cream colours coming through in the leaves. AXMY45, 
And this is a really soft cotton as well. It would be lovely for more sort of traditional uh, quilting projects. I'm going to show you it with that fabric that I loved. So let's just show you side by side if I open that up a little bit. Here we go. Because those leaves pick out that, and um, producer Hannah's singing in my ear, because this is a sweetheart fabric, and she's singing sweethearts in my ear. I don't know, I could, I'm, oh, what are we doing? We're going a bit bonkers this morning. So we've got um, this heart fabric here, but you can just see, if you look really closely, you can see that that uh, detail in the middle of the heart is picked out, picking out that colour uh, in the leaves as well. So it does work really well together. This will make a lovely patchwork project. The Sweetheart Brisk fabric is this one here, the blue. That's on the bottom of your screens, K-U-M-Y 59. The Trinkets fabric is that main one. That's almost my name, A-X-M-Y 45, with that beige uh, background. Can we look a little bit closer at that at all, please? Just together so we can see how those colours... I just wanted to show you so you can see those, um, those leaves sort of picking out in the hearts. Here we go. <laughs> There it is, just so you can see that detail. Also, is it, you've got that similar shape. These almost look a little bit sort of heart-shaped with those two, with that sort of pointed bottom and the, and the curve in the top. If you are buying um, sort of quite a few units of the fabric, so more than a metre and a half, we do advise giving the call centre a ring. Sometimes people have difficulty adding that to their basket on the website. But if you ring the call centre with the number on your screen, um, you can add as many metres as you want, as long as we've got it in stock. <laughs> so let's just fold those two back up. I love that um, sweetheart one. That's really lovely. Then we have also got... We're nearly at the end of showing you all the different fabrics, and then I'll do some recapping. But we've got this spools fabric that we saw in the earlier hour, um, but this here is on a white background. So it's lovely, perfect for sewists, perfect if you want something for your craft room, or if you want to make a bag to take to workshops or sewing classes, and perhaps you want to make a sewing machine cover or a mat for your sewing machine to sit on so it doesn't make that noise, you know, when it's on the table and it's sort of uh, chugging away. Um, but, you know, you've got those, those different spools with um, magenta and sky blue and green as well. But also you've all got this sort of patch um, that looks like it's been sewn on, that effect there with those different squares. And these stitch marks as well in the background of that fabric. This is from Lewis and Irene. They're a family run company. They're now in sort of the third generation. Uh, they're based in Hampshire and they've got um, a third generation in the family still, still into sewing. And this is from their um, threaded with love range. So everything, you know, this is all about Sewing with love. We're not sure if we're going to get this one back in, so if you do like it, RQLW16, again being sold by the half metre, so it's 5 95 cut off the bolt, you could have as much or as little as you wanted. Um, and also, this is a really lovely one for teeing with solids, perhaps if you've got some in your stash, because there's loads of colour options for you to pick out, you know, perhaps if you've got um, a coral or a powder blue or a yellow or a magenta, you know, you've got greens, you've got loads of different colours within this fabric and within the print. So if you've got fabrics that you want to use up in your stash, um, this is perfect for that if you want to pick those out. $5.95 per half metre for that Lewis and Irene Threads on Cream from that, from that Threaded with Love range. One more fabric to show you, then we've reached the end of the different ones and then I'll do some recapping. So this is our chicks. This is on a lovely uh, farmhouse kitchen feel to this. So we've got chicks and eggs on this. This is going to be really, this is going to go really, really quickly. We've got, oh wow, we've got half a metre left of this. So this is going to be, this is going to be literally a quick flash. I'll just do this. Here we go. So you can see your chicks there, chicks and eggs. LPMY30, homegrown chicks and eggs on yellow. That's from Macawa. If you want that half metre, you have to be quick. Talking of things that have sold out. So, um... Oh, this one's the blue from the lilac range is sold out. We have still got a little bit of stock on this um, sort of a vintage floral print, a very classic, sophisticated, um, sophisticated print with that blue there on a cream background. So you can just see picking out that lovely soft blue and you've got some creams and sort of buttermilks and oatmeals in the background of that fabric. We've had a message from June about this fabric. Let's see. Um, 
Morning, Amy. Hi, June from East Sussex. I'm going to Sussex on Saturday. Um, morning, Amy. I think the lilac fabric is called that because the flowers are lilacs. Love, June. You're probably very right. I, earlier on, I said, I'm not sure why this is called lilac because it's blue, but it's because the flowers are lilac. So thank you, June. I'm glad you know more about flowers than I do. So um, that one there, CIMY87. And again, that's the uh, Beach House fabric from the Blue Sky range. Five ninety-five per half meter. Now I've also had a message from Liam. Good morning. Um, what magazine was the bundle this morning from? So that was from um, issue twenty-nine of Simply Sewing magazine. We were doing uh, the laptop case. If you managed to get that bundle with that uh, pencil fabric, Simply Sewing is our sister magazine. So we've got a couple of sister magazines here at Sewing Quarter, and lots of our designers design projects for the magazines. In fact, they did that first before we stole them for our for our show. Um, so yes, that laptop case was from that issue. You can go back to um, the Simply Sewing website, and you can order backdated issues. So if you do want to, if you like some of those projects from that hour at 10 o'clock you can go back and order that on there the website is simply sewingmag.com if you go there you can order as i said um backdated issues so i hope that helps liam also we do and there is a yearly subscription so if you really like the magazine i think it's 13 issues a year of simply sewing um, but they do do an annual subscription so um you, you know you've got the magazine arriving on your doorstep or just over one a month i think probably every four weeks so that was that lilac fabric, as June rightly pointed out, because it's lilac flowers. Thanks, June. Um, then we've also got, what should we look at now? Reg squiggles from Hungry Caterpillar. That's the technical term, squiggles. I said this is a bit like wax. It looks like it's been marked with a wax crayon. Um, but you've got lots of depth to this fabric with that, with that squiggly line. But also in the background, you've got sort of a, a stripe running through that background with some darker sections, really sort of like port or burgundy colours coming through. And then that bright corals and red. That definitely doesn't have to be a children's fabric. You know, that, that would work absolutely on its own in isolation. It's a, it's a bit more grown up. TXMY50, and that's 4 95 per half metre. Well, it does work really beautifully with that hearts fabric from the Hungry Caterpillar range as well. So... Oh, we've just had a request, a couple of people looking to see those bundles. We had some premier fabrics on at eight o'clock this morning uh, with Jess. If you missed it, we were making a wall hanging, so you can go back on YouTube and watch on there if you want to see how we made it. But we've had some requests to see those fabric bundles again, so I'll quickly show you those on the other side. So these are launches today. We'd never had them on the show before, so perhaps that's why you like the look of them. So we had the uh, cow parsley, um, which is what uh, Jess was working with in the show at eight o'clock. So for a metre of fabric, I'll just show you that there. You've got that lovely cow parsley. It's sort of got a very summery feel to it. So this isn't being sold by the half metre. This is bundled. It's a metre of fabric for that brand new one this morning. And it's also paired with a thread from Guterman. Lots of people requested to see this again this morning. So we brought it back in this hour just to show you. But again, that is 100% cotton just with that cream and lime green colour palette with that cow parsley, D-I-G-C-88. And that's 11.45 per half metre. And again, you get a thread with that as well. So that one's never been seen on air before. These are two brand new ones, apart from at eight o'clock this morning. And then we also have this tree fabric. I'm going to open this up, actually. There it is. So you can see it's got those lovely uh, details in white and in that lime green as well, picked out in that fabric in the trees. Again, you get a meter of that fabric and you also get thread, NJGC55. It's got that steely gray background and then you've got the detail in the white trees and the green trees. But that was a launch this morning. They're saying, am I going to do a magic trick if I go like this? And then how would I disappear? I have to do this. <laughs> nearly, nearly, nearly disappeared. Wasn't quite quick enough. So I'm just going to show you these two together as well. So that's the tree fabric and that's paired with a, a grey thread as well. Um, but the cow parsley fabric too, if I can just show you these together. So we're only offering these in bundles this morning. If you wanted to um, get both, you'd have to get both bundles. So you'd have two metres of fabric, a metre of the cow parsley and a metre of the green. But they do work really well together. I don't know if we can see that. 
Do I need to lift that up or are we okay? Can we see that there? No, we can see that there. There it is. So you can just see these two colours and you've got your greens being picked out in the trees and also in the cow parsley. They do work really, really well together. Those brand new fabrics this morning. There it is. This one is cow parsley. And this one is the trees. If you missed that wall hanging this morning at eight o'clock, all of our shows do go onto YouTube. So if there's a particular project that you want to go back and look at, or perhaps when your order arrives and you think, oh, I can't quite remember that stage of the project or what that sort of tip or hint was at a certain point, you can go back on YouTube and you can watch those different projects that, that have been done and you can have the designer there with you while you do it. So um, if you want to go do that, all of the shows are on the Sewing Quarter channel. So cow parsley and trees, two brand new fabrics this morning in bundles with threads. So let's go back to those miss out, miss it, miss out fabrics back over on our table. Let's see. So what have we still got? Have we, do I need to take any out off the table? We have already taken some off. Let's look at this Smarties. So this one's from Makawa. It's not actually called Smarties. I just called it that because that's what it reminds me of. And I'm starting to think now about Natasha's birthday cake that hopefully there's still some in the office for me to have some when we finish. So we've got this Smarties fabric here. This is like a polka dot um, with, you know, really bright, vivid colours in this. You've got bold um, greens, reds, pinks, blues, yellows, um, really sort of a, a multicolour fabric there. And the beauty of that is that you can team it with pretty much anything. You know, you can pick out any of those colours from the Hungry Caterpillar range. IQMY30, that's the spots fabric. Now we've also got the hearts fabric from that Hungry Caterpillar range. This is where you get to see the caterpillar. Let's see the star of the show. If you can, these work well paired together or on its own. This fabric is beautiful. We've got a lovely bag made of this out in our office. It's on our rail. Um, this is, it is a really, really lovely fabric with bright um, orange and reds and corals and pinks in your hearts there. I think a little girl would love a, um, is it this one? So this one there is um, 545 again per half metre, XZMY54. That would be lovely for a little bag, perhaps for ballet or for, um, for school. Five forty-five per half metre. And just look at those together as well. All of those Hungry Caterpillar fabrics. The one I just showed you actually as well before, the red texture. If you wanted to team any of these up, I don't know if we can see those three together, but that sort of waxy red texture one, picking out the wax detail as well in the hearts, but they do work. You can see why they're a collection, particularly those two. TXMY50 is this red texture fabric. And then your heart's there on the bottom of your screen. The red texture is slightly more affordable. That's 4 95 per half metre. And the um, heart is 5 45 per half metre. Now, I just had a stock warning. Was it this uh, lilac one? Oh, we've got half a metre of that one left in stock. So I'm going to take that one off the table. And the chicks has also sold out too. Someone was very quick on that half metre. Well done. Let's just move these hungry caterpillars to the side. So some more um, sort of fun, playful, childish fabrics. And we've got here these coated fabrics. These are laminate coated. Um, they're sort of the, the cottons, but they're wipeable. So this is absolutely perfect if you want. I mean, even just this fabric itself without doing anything to it as a tablecloth for arts and crafts or for, for a children's tea party, if you've got all the children not coming home after school, um, or a little rain mac would be really cute actually in this. So this is a crocodile fabric in that wipeable fabric, but you can just see here, I don't know if you can see that sort of shine to it, that's completely wipeable um, if it got grubby or dirty, which I think children might do. Apparently that is something that happens. OHN. Oh, is that right? ONHN06. So that's the Cloud9 alligators. That's on a navy laminate. So you can see that uh, background fabric there and then picking out the two colours in the alligators. It is a cotton fabric, but it's got a pew coating. I'll just show you on the back. But you can just see that sort of shine to it there. That would be really nice for some um, sort of outerwear, like rain, a rain mac or a little hat. I can picture like a little anorak, matching anorak and hat would be really cute in that. That's 11.95 per half metre. 
Now also with the pew coating, we had another option, which is with some foxes. So let's just move our crocodiles. Okay, so the foxes is more limited stock-wise at the moment than the um, alligators. These look like very friendly foxes, I have to say. They look quite happy. <laughs> they almost look like a little cat. They're very, very, very happy foxes. So that bright, bold orange. There's only a metre of this, a metre of this one left. Yeah, a metre of this left in stock. So if you do like this one, you will need to be quick. HBHN96. Um, please check out your baskets now on that one. Again, it's that laminate coating, so 11.95 per half metre. You can hear, actually, you can hear that sort of um, that texture to it. Lovely. I'll move that one away as we've only got a metre of that one left. Producer Hannah is saying, what? Say that, repeat that again. She's saying, giraffes, did you say? Producer Hannah said, no, people think that giraffes don't make noises, but apparently they do, it's just on a different frequency. That was so random, Producer Hannah. Why are you thinking about that? She's thinking about animals, crocodiles and foxes, and then she thought about giraffe frequencies. That's very interesting. Fact for the day from Hannah. Maybe we should have a, like a segment where we do Hannah's facts. So, um... We've got here these, that's the only fact she's got, she'd have to do some research. So these two lovely fabrics that I'd never seen before, particularly love this sweetheart one, I'm gonna show you that. So there is eight meters of this left in stock. So um, if you do like this one again, we are limited on that now, um, but you've got some mustard detail and some blue as well. It's, it's got like a, a stripe running through the background of that fabric. And then you've got that twig detail with the hearts hanging from it, almost like, um, Christmas baubles hanging off of, of twigs there, but in a, in a very different feel. KUMY59, 5.95 per half metre. Oh, we've had a message in, let's see. It's from Rachel, morning Rachel in Cheshire. I've just ordered for the first time with you. Thank you from Rachel in Cheshire. You're very welcome, Rachel, thank you. Thank you for joining us here at Sewing Quarter. You're in the club now. Um, if, as well, if you spent over 10 pounds, you'll be getting one of these little Sewing Quarter sewing kits too. So thank you for that. I'm glad, you, um, glad you've joined the family. So that's that sweetheart fabric there, KUMY 59, 595 per half metre. Then you've also got um, this lovely sort of two-tone uh, peaches and coppers with that autumnal feel um, coming through in this uh, sort of leaf print here, again on, a, on an intertwined twig. This has got a beige fabric, a beige background colour, an OT colour in the background there. Trinkets fabric, the two-tone leaf on beige. AXMY45, that's 5.45 per half metre, and that's 100% cotton. Let me show you those together again, because they do work beautifully as a pair. Um, picking out those, picking out those colours from the leaves in the hearts, you can just see those. There it is. So this is the sweetheart one on the bottom of your screen, and the two-tone leaf is the main graphic, AXMY54. Lovely. Now we also had the monochrome music fabric, which we've not looked at very much. So I'm going to just show you that once more. This is on a, on a black background, but it's got lots of different music notes. It's got treble clefs and, um, you know, what other, what other things have we got in here? Quavers, we've got, what's it called? The, oh, the bass clef, that's what it's called. On the, um, <laughs> lots of mu different musical notes and symbols there on that black background. Perfect for music stands, for a little bag, for a music class and perhaps for a notebook cover. Maybe if you write music, how lovely to have a notebook cover, you could pop your sheet music inside. Monochrome notes on black. Again, that's 100% cotton from Macawa. RGMY34, that's 4.95 per half meter. I wish I could play the piano. I really, really wish I'd stuck at that, but I just didn't practice enough. Apparently, you can't, just, you can't just get the piano and play. You have to actually put in some hours of practice, and I wasn't very good at that. It's not very good, is it? I wish I could play it, though. So um, we had that monochrome, uh, the music notes there. Then we had those Makawa Hungry Caterpillar ones. 
We also had the uh, Lewis and Irene um, fabric. This is on a, on a ivory background. Again, with all of those spools. Perfect for your craft room, perfect for sewing machine covers, for a little sewing bag or a storage caddy or a wall hanging. RQLW16, that's the thread on cream. 5.95 per half metre. So um, this morning we were doing the wall hanging with that scallop detail with Jess and those two premier fabrics that I just showed you, the cow parsley and the trees. And we had those at eight o'clock this morning. And someone's asked to see the uh, Tilda book, the So Pretty Tilda book that we were using to create that wall hanging this morning. Loads of different projects in here, all about creating accessories for your home, going through um, different cushions and slippers and lovely sort of delightful little bags and home ideas for, for different areas in the house. So it's divided into rooms, kitchens, bathrooms, children's bedrooms, all different areas. I'm going to just show you some of those. Tilda, obviously, you've got that really lovely, uh, whimsical feel to it. I'm going to crack straight onto the project. So at the beginning, it talks about techniques. But let's get straight on with those so you can see what's actually inside project-wise. So if you're looking for some inspiration, you've got slippers. Beautiful colour instructions. We've made this bag here on the show, so you could go back and, and uh, watch the tutorial on how to make that. But really thorough sort of instructions on your cutting and your assembly. Beautiful photography in these books. I tell you what fabric would work really well with some of these Tilda projects, that sweetheart one there would be really lovely. It's got that sort of feel with that whimsical floral feel to it. But yeah, we've made these bags lovely for hanging on different hooks if you wanted for storage, but also lovely little toys as well. You've got dogs and then you move into the, um, the kitchen and you've got a lovely little cat toy there. Sitting in a bowl of flour, he's ready for some cake making with the scales and strawberries. He's gonna make an eaten mess, that cat. <laughs> So loads of different uh, inspiration. I'll just show you that um, wall hanging we made this morning. If you want to watch back the eight o'clock show, if you missed us um, and you wanted to see what Jess made, it was here this morning. Just that wall hanging there with two different pockets. You could use it on the back of a door or in the, uh, you could hang it in a wardrobe on a hanger. You could have that option there with a the hanger too. PYDQ74, that was that request to see the Tilda book from eight o'clock this morning, 12.95. So let's have a look what's coming up on tomorrow's show. I'm back in the morning at 8 o'clock. We're here on air 8 till 12. Bags, blocks and books. Bags, of course it's bags. Um, so 8 a.m., I love a bag, in the bag. And we've got that at 8 o'clock in the morning. Then at 9 o'clock, I'm joined by the very lovely Lucy Brennan, stunning stars block quilt. At 10 o'clock is books, tools and more. Oh, I keep you in suspense what the more might be. And 11 o'clock, traditional blocks. So Lucy's back doing some some blocks in that hour at 11. Good old bags back in the morning. I do love my bags. I'm sure you're starting to know that now. I'm a bit of a bag fanatic. So we've had a really lovely show today. I was joined by Jess. We made that, um, as I just showed you, that wall hanging. And we also made the laptop case. Anything you want to watch back, you can do that on YouTube. And the laptop case, if you've got that pencil fabric this morning and the Simply Sewing magazine, well done you for being quick. That was great. And um, lots of different fabrics in this hour. If you want to check them out on the website, you will need to check out your baskets on those. Some of these we might not get back in stock. So that Hungry Caterpillar, the Sweetheart range, and we had those wipeable uh, alligators and also the foxes. But I'm back at eight o'clock in the morning. I'll be joined by Lucy Brennan. Good luck if you've got your A-level results today and I'll see you at eight o'clock in the morning. Bye. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts.